You good? You good? You good? You good? All right, I'm just. We're just gonna wait here and just let Connor okay, do his okay, hair, okay. I guess. I, I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I am your host for today, Gigak, and with me today, I do not have a guest. <laughs> This feels, for the first time. this feels so refreshing. Like for like the first few times we've had guests on and I just haven't been able to like sit in the center where I deserve to be. I love how the, as well, the subreddit has come up with this controversy or like conspiracy <laughs> that, oh, Gant is the one that always hosts <laughs> all the guest episodes because he's the most social out of the three. It's like, it's like no. no, there is no conspiracy. No. It was just a coincidence it's that coincidence. both mm. times it was my scheduled time to be a guest, but this is my time now. I get this side. <laughs> Finally, you're sitting by yourself. You get you get you get an entire camera to yeah, yourself. Yeah, I know. And uh, with me to, again with the boys, as per usual. <laughs> wait, wait, what was that drop in energy, uh, God? You oh, just no. felt like sad, bro. Uh, I know. And there's the boys. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's Giga and the boys. With sports, whatever. I should be the tired one. I've been up since four a.m. Why were yes. you up since four? I was doing fucking Carson's pool tournament. Yeah. <laughs> thank Car- you. Thank you for inviting all of us, by the way, Carson. Yeah. But uh, there was only one madman between our group who was willing to wake up at like three thirty a.m. Yeah, three thirty a.m and then I had Japanese school after. So I had Jesus. to go into Tokyo and then I had to come back here and do the podcast. But Carson, fuck you for <laughs> kicking me out of the tournament. As you, I don't know if you, you guys probably didn't see this. Yeah. I was crushing my opponent. In do, pool, do you want to explain the tournament? Right? Yeah. So it was an eight ball pool tournament, right? And 64 bracket. And I was first to play, right? So right. I didn't have any knowledge of what the, this fucking pool table looked like an eight bit windows kind of game. It was fucking awful. He kept saying, no, it's great on the stream. It was fucking awful, right. Carson. Right. I like you, Carson, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Carson, but I don't like your pool table. This, this pool sucked, Carson. <laughs> anyway. Immediately, I was against uh, the, uh, Botez and I just started clapping her, dude. I was getting all of these balls in, no problem right, whatsoever, yeah. right? And I was down to the eight ball. And then like something weird happened on the fucking, in the pool thing, right? And I'm like, yeah. well, Carson, what is this? He's like, oh, don't, don't worry, just click, just click. So I just clicked. I shouldn't have believed Carson because of course he's gonna troll me. <laughs> it's the first game. Yeah. So I, I just ignored it, potted the black and I'm like, right. See you guys in the next round. And I was about to leave the call and then they were like, wait, you lost Connor. And I'm like, what do you mean I lost? <laughs> like, oh, you picked the wrong hole. I'm like, it didn't give me a- Oh my God, Carson fucking played me, bro. Yeah. Carson, why? <laughs> because in eight ball, you have to select which pocket you're gonna put the eight ball in. Yeah. And if you put it in a different hole, then I, you automatically I feel lose. so lied to because on, on mini clip on the eight ball pool game- Mini clip? Right? You don't <laughs> going, have, going way back. Yeah, I know. But this is, it's from mini clip, right? The game, yeah. this game, which is the one that I know he plays all the time. You don't yeah. have to select a fucking pocket. You just hit it in any of them. This, I felt that's lied normie to. rules. I though, felt that lied ain't, to. That ain't co- that ain't competition. Rules. Justice for Sea Dog, man. But that's the, all I want. The thing, the Give thing me my twenty k cash prize. The thing I noticed about playing pool is like I swear every country I play pool in with like a different person, mm. everyone has their own fucking rules. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know what happens half the time. It's, it's like, like it's like Uno and Monopoly, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Monopoly. It's like, it's the, like the free one, parking spot on Monopoly. <laughs> everyone just makes up their own fucking rules. No one knows what the actual rule is. It's just no, no. The actual rule is. Nothing happens. That's just that's <laughs> really? ju- that's the actual rule. Because <laughs> nothing I, in, happens. in my house, what you would do is, you know how you have to pay the I taxes, like 50 taxes, yeah, and like yeah, 50 yeah, bucks to bullshit. get out of yeah. jail. All of that money goes into the middle, and then if you land on free parking, you get the pot. I, yeah, I, I, I think that's hopeless optimism because yeah. you know we like we like to think our taxes go somewhere, perhaps <laughs> to someone else. They don't. They just get sucked into a hole. They don't get nothing comes of your taxes. You're not happy about it, okay? That's what's what happens. I remember. Yeah, I saw yeah, see, that makes yeah. that makes more sense. Yeah, nothing yeah. happens. That's just, it's, and it's just, just taxes, taxes, bro. It's, it's just, just taxes. I, 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 don't, I don't know how this one rule in Monopoly just got spread around like globally, even though it was like not on any rule books, I, I think. I, it's like pity I, rules, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think because it's so depressing to do a role in Monopoly and it's like, wait, nothing? Like <laughs> nothing? Like, yeah. n- like not even like a, a bad thing? Yeah. No, no, it's just Especially nothing. when it's already a game where nothing fucking happens. Could, Sometimes yeah. it's like, oh, I landed on my own property. Could you imagine if there's like a, a, a white circle on Mario Party and it was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Just nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. It's just, it's just white. Bro. Okay, have, have, have you guys ever completed a game of Monopoly? I have never completed a game yeah, of Monopoly. Yeah, 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 of yeah. course. I don't know. I've, I just don't have that patience. Dude, I would like, I am so competitive that I will like trap everyone. Of course everyone. you are. I will, of course you I are. I will trap everyone in the room 
room until the game is over. This, like, this just calls for a Monopoly episode now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to play Monopoly for- like How long is a yeah. game of no Monopoly meant to like last? Depends how much you yeah. suck. <laughs> because because I've, I've been in Monopoly games that have lasted like two, three hours and I'm just like, look, I, that's, I don't- That's I, a short I, game. I don't- Wait, do you, do you, okay, I, do you, okay, this is the thing, right? Some people don't do this. Do you yeah. let auctions happen? Because I think in the rules, auctions are, oh fuck, are they allowed yeah, yeah, to they, fuck? Yeah, yeah, they're allowed. I thought they were allowed. I, I could be wrong now. I just um, I just get to a point in Monopoly where just like the money is just like it's just circular. It's yeah. just like you know that I mean where like people are just passing the cans to each, yeah, each yeah. other. That's exactly what it feels like playing a game of Monopoly that I'm used I, to. I, I, I like to do the mind games, just let my opponents know immediately from the get-go I'm out playing them and maybe they give up. Maybe it would end faster if it wasn't for the free parking rule. Yeah, yeah probably. Right? Probably that's, that's why, probably I feel, why. I feel that's probably why what nothing happens. happens. It's like, oh shit, I've got fifty bucks left. <laughs> Thank God I landed on free parking. Two thousand dollars comes to me and then it just keeps repeating. Yeah, yeah. There, there shouldn't be a way for someone who has like no properties to get back in the game. Yeah, they yeah, should yeah. be out. They deserve yeah. to be out for their poor financial. So maybe, decisions. maybe if we do play it on the podcast or whatever, then we should just completely get rid of that rule. Exactly. And yeah, free we'll, parking. Is yeah, just we'll get uh, we'll get Maylene on as well, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Monopoly. Maylene, do you want to play Monopoly with us for an episode? Yeah, she we'll said. Yeah, she yes, says. Right? She says yes. <laughs> she said yeah. yes. She but said yeah. absolutely, boys. Yeah, go, going back to pool though, like, what are the rules when you foul? Because I swear there's like a different fucking rule <laughs> in every country when you do a foul. Yeah. Like, do you get control of the white ball? Do you get two shots? Like, what? What? What is the rule? So, so what, my, what is my the official understanding, rules? I don't know what the official rules are, but my understanding is if you sink the white ball. Then you can place Put it wherever you want. Wherever right? yeah. it, you can place, but it wherever is, you want. is it wherever you want past like a certain line? No, or is it wherever you that's want? That's what I thought on... it was, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it's not. Isn't that snook? <laughs> yeah, that's a different yeah. game of oh, fuck, dude. I don't want to say anything because I'm going to be wrong. No yeah, matter what yeah. I say. we're probably we're probably wrong here. And there's going to be someone in the comments that's like, I'm... uh, I know the international rules of pool. <laughs> you are if, all wrong. No, no, if you pot two in a row, multi ball happens, right? Where there's, I'm, what the <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm chatting shit. I thought you were like yeah, I'm serious. Chatting, yeah, I'm chatting shit. I was like, multi pot? What's that? <laughs> Just sweating. <laughs> like pinball, right? When all the, the, it's like the best part, man. No, I think like, yeah, because every single person I've gone to Baggis with to play yeah. pool, yeah. They're just like, oh, it's two shots, right? It's like, no, 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 no. It's behind this like white line yeah. and you have to shoot it forward. No, you can place it anyway. <laughs> it's, it's different every single time. It's just like, whatever. So people just make up their own rules. There's always house rules. And I don't know, America's, America works on its own system. Asia works on another system and Europe works on its own system. I don't fucking know. I just go with the flow most of the time. Yeah, because recently I found out with Uno, right? Yeah. Do you stack the plus two cards? Yeah, that's a rule. No, it's not. That's not a rule. The official rule is you can't stack. That's plus so two. fucking boring. I know. <laughs> That's so I, lame. I, like I looked it up because there were so many people who were like, no, you can't stack plus two or you can stack plus two. And right. Everybody thought, yes, of course you can stack plus two. That makes the game so much more interesting. <laughs> I looked up the official rules. You right. can't stack plus twos. But that's not fun. Exactly. Right. <laughs> and also Joey, Fucking, I remember this pissed me off, dude. There's like a 30 minute game of Uno and I just wanted it to end, right? And what I normally do in Uno is that I will save the all color cards until the end so yeah. that I can just win when I get yeah. Uno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Joey was like, uh, uh, no, no, you can't do that. You can't put down, it has to be a, a solid color. It, it is, it, that is an official rule. On the Uno game on the PC, you can do that. Explain that, Joey. Yeah. PC is yeah, not canon. Dude, what do you we, mean? We were also very drunk then. When yeah, we were, we, were also, we were also shouting out like a different stand for the different <laughs> colors. I, I, I was just like asleep by the end of it. And Joey was the only one who wanted to drag on this suffering <laughs> It was longer. like like 2 a.m. or something. We were all like heavily drunk. I was like struggling to keep my eyes open. I wanted open. to go home, and, and when I wanted you, to and, sleep. And when you like ended the game, I was secretly like, yes, yes, it's oh, finally over. Then I've Joey never... goes, um, excuse me. That is not a rule. <laughs> you cannot end the game look, like that. I, look, if I'm gonna, if you're gonna put me through a 30 minute fucking Uno game. I want to win. <laughs> I want to win on the proper rules. It's okay? Uno. Who gives a fuck, oh, man? Gosh. It's not. It's not even a skill based game. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's not. <laughs> I just had fun. Just every time there was a red card, just being like, yeah. <laughs> what was it? it's like my in <laughs> every single time. People the people in the other room must have thought, what the fuck is happening in there? They're just screaming magician's red every like two seconds. Yeah. Out of Fanto Green every time we drop the green card. Before we move on to the actual topic of this podcast though, you talking about, what was it? Mini clip just reminded me yeah, of yeah. like all the, did you guys I ever spent play like, like- my whole life on mini clip. Like, did you guys, how many, do you guys remember like the good old fashioned flash games that you yeah, yeah. have to play on your school internet yeah. because yeah. actual games wouldn't Dude, work. I, yeah. I remember being like in, in like, in like the lunch break being like, yo, I know which website balloons tower defense is on. <laughs> come come <laughs> like, type, like, type in this code. 
<laughs> Balloons Tower Defense 2 is available on this URL. I know. It's, uh, it's all about the helicopter game, man. Yeah, like, helicopter. Remember, remember that helicopter game, which was like pre Angry Birds before oh, Angry Birds? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that. I remember that one. Yeah. It was the most difficult gameplay with just the space bar. <laughs> yeah. it, when that, when what, like somehow one of those websites with all of the games got yeah. through the filter, it was like opening the floodgates, and you were like, <laughs> yeah. holy shit. Yeah, because I remember at, in my primary school, Miniclip was immediately banned. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Miniclip yeah, yeah, was banned. Yeah. But then someone was like, I know a website called Albino Sheep <laughs> and it's not blocked on the firewall. But don't tell the teachers. <laughs> it's got all the games. <laughs> Did you ever have um, someone like, because in the schools, right, all the PCs are hooked up to like the main admin. Mm. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the kids in my school like changed the like background of all the things and it was the funniest fucking shit. Right. It was like, because the teacher left the room for right. one moment yeah. and he changed all the backgrounds to Alien versus Predator, but <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the, the predator was just like a priest. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so a bunch of 13 year old kids are just doing their thing and then they minimize like word document or like the, the fucking PowerPoint. And they just see like fucking like one of the popes holding hands with the predator, uh, with, the, with the alien or something. And it was just the funniest fucking thing ever. I remember being so amused by this. That That is just peak 12 year old. I love it. Yeah. Dude. I remember just 12 year old me thought, man, Nothing's ever gonna live up to this moment, bro. That was the funniest this shit the ever. the best prank of all it's time. I, this is just giga brain, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, can't imagine it. I remember like IT class back in the day, like in school, IT class was just like a second playground. Time. Oh, dude, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? everyone just fucked around. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, it was no, nobody actually did the work. And I remember like, if you had to do the work, it was like a five minute job. Yeah, yeah. because they were teaching you stuff that you were probably already using. Like they, they used to teach us like Microsoft Word mm. and PowerPoint, not yeah. even like Excel. Mm. Like, yeah. and, and everyone, everyone at age like 10 already knows how to use like a PowerPoint. Yeah. At least our age they did. I don't know about now, it might just be different. But when, when I was growing up, everyone knew how to use PowerPoint. Everyone yeah. had made a PowerPoint for like every other class that they had. Yeah, right? yeah, but they had to go above and beyond by being like, do you know a thing called transitions? Yeah. <laughs> They, they will they'll really, oh they'll really spice up a presentation. Word, and then people word just, art. Yeah, word clip, art. clip art. Oh God. God, I remember like first discovering transitions on PowerPoint and you would just use that for every fucking slide and you thought you were the fucking Every shit. single letter had a transition. <laughs> yeah, there inside. was that one kid who would just do like, okay, dude, bear, bear in mind, this transition is like 30 seconds long. You're just watching each single letter just the, like, bounce into the screen. The star shake in the middle. And the last little moment would take fucking forever to like lock in. I remember that one, man. No, I remember this one time in my IT class, we had to create a website, right? right. Yeah. So we could choose a website on whatever topic we uh, wanted to create. Mm. So at Why the time- we sponsored by Squarespace? Right? <laughs> yeah, I know, this would be perfect for Squarespace, but um, yeah, I chose to make a website on the original Nintendo DS. Right. Okay. okay. Very and specific. Yeah. No. No. I, I don't know why. Because I, I just I, I was a Nintendo kid back then, and I remember like I I was like doing a really good job. My teacher was like at the time really impressed at the website I had, I had created because I was actually putting effort in, and like unlike the other kids who were just like dicking around like you do in IT yeah, class. Yeah. Of course. And then he was asking me, oh, so so what are you gonna name it? And I was just ten year old me. I, I was like nine or ten year old, trying to think of the coolest name possible. I was like, how about DS Dominator? No, no. I got a better one. How about DS Dominatrix? Because oh, no. <laughs> I was like, Dominator, Dominate, like Dominatrix for a nine year old who doesn't know what it means. Sounds like a cool fucking yeah, word. Okay. It's like Dominator and the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's like exactly my mindset. And I just remember the, the teacher's face being like, um, that's great. That's great, but- uh, <laughs> Probably shouldn't call it that. And I was yeah. like, why? It's such a cool word, yeah. Dominatrix. I'm Tell call, me why. I'm gonna right? call it Dominatrix. And he, he refused to let me call it Dominatrix. And, I, and nine-year-old me was so fucking pissed because I thought of a fucking brilliant name. <laughs> you don't understand me, the genius. <laughs> Have you seen the Matrix? It's epic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, going back to uh, GCSE IT class or whatever, whatever it was back then. I had a similar thing where or I also had to make a website as well for like my IT class. You didn't have to do that? No. Oh, okay. Because I, I, don't I, even think, I, had I don't even think my teacher knew how to make a website. <laughs> like, I, I don't think he was going to teach us. Because I had to make a website, but it was when I was like 16 years old. Right? Right, so okay. it wasn't like 10 years old. Mm. And I was like, okay, I got to think of a, a cool name for my website. 
How about the anime, man? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does this still exist? Yeah, it does exist. Oh Wait, what's the, my what's the, god! The, the, it's it's, uh, it's the anime man dot wordpress dot com because like, because we used wordpress. Back then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you like do anime reviews and all that shit? Yeah. Oh, and that's how I got did. started. Oh, that's how I got started. And then I was like, wait, should we, we can still go on this. What? Oh this yeah, website? it should be up there still. Go on, pull it up, pull I it up. Again, <laughs> I went on there like a year ago because I did a video where I was just basically roasting my own horrible reviews yeah. and they were absolutely garbage. What was your very first review? Uh, Serial Experiments Lane. Oh, that's that's a that's yeah. a Herculean. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't oh, like, damn. fairy tale review, <laughs> one piece review. It's like, I, I feel bad for just reviewing Bleach for my first video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I gained so much of, I don't know how the fuck people like came back. They were like, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, I got to the point where people were like, um, I, I would like to request a review from you. Can you can you review this <laughs> particular series? And I was like, okay. W <laughs> were there many anime reviews at that time though in English? There were a lot of like, there weren't a lot of people on YouTube who were doing it, but mm. there were lots and lots of like anime blogging websites. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty around 2000s, right? Yeah, so yeah. Pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. that was pretty, yeah. That was when like blogs actually hands. got views and yeah. everything like that. <laughs> yeah, and and that was that was <laughs> <laughs> it was in the 2010s. But then it then it got to the point where someone was like, hey, you should, uh, you should do some video reviews. Yeah. I was like, okay. And then I did that and then- and That here. was the origin story. And that's the origin then, story. Yeah. But Fucking dusted off that chopper hat. You were like, it's time. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. It's, it's time. It's time. The you giant <laughs> rainbow beanie as well that I used to wear. Like, God, so hideous. Did you guys have that one really cool teacher in school? Like, yeah. like yeah. For, for me, it was the IT teacher. Like he didn't give a shit about what we did. But every other teacher in my school, at least, was a fucking asshole. But there was just the the one IT teacher for me that was really cool. Yeah, I had that. Uh, that was our physics teacher in high school. He yeah. he was such a fucking character, and I don't know if he did it on purpose just to be entertaining because maybe yeah. he thought that not a lot of kids would take physics as a major. Yeah, but I took yeah. physics because I just found physics interesting. Yeah. But <laughs> he was just imagine this like middle aged, just completely bald dude, and him trying to teach you about like how electrons move. <laughs> And he's carrying around this giant stick. Like yeah. I'm talking like like twice the size of a cricket bat, <laughs> right? Like just as thick as a cricket bat. And 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 in like marker on yeah. it, it's it's called the gentle persuader. <laughs> oh my god! And he would just swing this thing around. And whenever there was a kid who was asleep at his desk, he would just get the gentle persuader and just whack it on the table to Why get, is kid, it, get the kid to wake up. It's always the physics teachers that are like the fucking nuttiest, bro. <laughs> they're, like, they're always either the most passionate and about but, it or but insane. The, yeah. But the absolute clap of a sound that this thing would make, like you could hear it probably from across the school of just this giant piece of wood clapping against another giant piece of wood. And the kids after a while, like after like two weeks, no kid would fall asleep in his class just cause he's just swinging this that's, thing around. That's asserting dominance yeah. as a teacher. The exactly. dominatrix. <laughs> the do the dominatrix. Asserting dominatrix right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was like really cool. Like he, he made yeah. physics really fun for me. And I feel that if I didn't have him as a teacher, I probably would have found like the whole, all the sciences and physics just really fucking tedious and boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, I remember the first time I read uh, Great Teacher Onizuka, mm. fucking one of my favorite manga of all time. So good. And I remember- I read it. You should. It's yeah, to, to give you a synopsis, it's about like this teacher who is like a 22 year old delinquent, uh, like never finished college, I don't think, or like was a dropout to college. And basically he takes over this delinquent classroom and just kind of reforms them. He doesn't teach them like the curriculum, he teaches them life lessons. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, it's a pretty simple premise, but what sells it is how good of a teacher Onizuka is mm. and just like, I wish I had a teacher like that in my own life. Yeah. That was just, mm. you know, you know, Mr. Sullivan, IT teacher, I'm never gonna forget you, but you know, you, you were no Onizuka. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't great teacher Sullivan. <laughs> the coolest thing he did was let us call us let us call him by his first names a few times. Oh and yeah, that's, yeah, how yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, how that's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. Damn, bro. Yeah. There's 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 a special moment when you're in your senior year of high school where your teacher's like, just just call me by my name. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, yeah. Man. yeah. You're, you're the real one, yeah, man. Yeah, you're the we're, real we're, one. We're real bros. Now. <laughs> we're friends, right? We're friends. Yeah, we're friends. Facebook. We're friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My, my, my biology tutor was like really nice. She was so cool. I, I, I did so many dumb stuff that she was like, she had my back. She was like, no, 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 no I got this. <laughs> the other teachers. Cause I, oh, oh, I guess cause like one time when I got in a fight a different time from the other stories. Yeah. Out of she, the million fights. Yeah. <laughs> million she, fight. she was pregnant and like, um, 
<laughs> she was teaching a class and this guy, so one of the guys was like, I was having a fight with him and I fucking rammed him through her like her class door and the door <laughs> slammed open, like absolutely like smacked her like whiteboard and stuff oh, and yeah. like made so much noise. And uh, yeah, she didn't tell me off. She was like, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> I, she was like, she was like, I know he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got you, bro. Dude, I got this, you. this this kid drove all the teachers insane. He was right. the worst, bro. And he, he always got away with it because the teachers just stopped. Like, do you ever have that kid where the teacher just gave up? Yeah. Because they were yeah. like, he's such a piece of shit. There's no point even trying to discipline yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was yeah. that kid. I'm sure you guys know. Yeah, we, we, we all, I think we all had that one kid in yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then uh, like when my phone went off in an exam, which is uh, not good. Which is like normally an auto fail. Yeah. Right yeah, there. so like what happened was is that uh, I was like super into Enter Shikari, right? At this age. And- uh, Of course you were. So my, my second name is C, right? Yeah. On the exam. So I was right at the front always. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I turned my phone off, right? And I didn't realize my phone could turn itself on to turn the alarm on. What? I did this, not know. Is some that phones true? could do this. Some phones could what do all the phones. What kind of sentient shit is that? <laughs> no, so this is the back in the day when the phones had the like the batteries you could take out. Yeah, yeah, oh, right? yeah, so, yeah. The flip phone, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so so th my other friend, I remember distinctly before the exam, he's like, I'm taking the battery out, dude, just in case. I'm like, that's fucking dumb, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm just leaving mine in, man. I'm yeah. just, and that obviously, <laughs> I, well, I was sitting down in my history exam, and I hear this like mumble in the back and I'm like, fucking idiot, whose phone is that? What a fucking loser. I finished the exam comfortably. I keep kept getting louder and I was like, whatever. Yeah. Oh, you know. And then I go to like to the back to get cause you put all your bags. Yeah, you put yeah, all yeah. your bags in the back. In the yeah, back, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, Where's my bag? Where the fuck's my bag? And yeah. then it, like I was like, fuck. Is that my phone? No, 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 it's not right. I got fucking grilled by the headmaster who was like, trying to cheat? Country, they were like, you know, the, this alarm, this, and it was fucking end Shikari, yeah. <laughs> like, blah, 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 blah. like in the like fucking whatever room it was while I was doing this two hour of exams, right? It was just in the like the reception area. Yeah. They were keeping it. They were like, you know, it kept going off. And I'm like, alarms tend to do that, yeah. <laughs> out, of, yeah. out of every ringtone you could have chosen, you chose fucking because into Shikari. Shikari. Because that shit woke you up, man. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I would never. Like, I've tried putting like my favorite song as an alarm. Mm -hmm. And then you realize after about you a month- You begin to hate the song. I, you hate the song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cause yeah, I remember yeah. in university, I did like exactly the same with like the killers or like sometimes oh, Muse. No. And I'm just like, wow, well, I hate the song now. I, I, this is not why yeah. I picked the alarm. <laughs> it's, it's because the, the enter, this Enter Shikari song at the time was like their most popular. And it just started off with, dun, 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 dun. do you know this one? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And the server was like immediately screaming. And uh, yeah, so then I was just like, I remember I was fucking like tearing up. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to cheat. <laughs> It's just- I just really like it. It's, it's just an alarm, bro. And they're like, can you prove it? And I'm like, it says nine o'clock, man. It's a little alarm bell and everything. Cause they, 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 they treated it. Bear in mind, right? This school is like 200 yeah. kids total. Yeah, right? yeah. This is a high school with 200 kids. This is like a very small school. And they have my bag on the table, like at an airport being like, open yeah. it up. <laughs> open it up, what's it's inside? Like TSA. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're literally like, it's a bomb. They're like, open it up, what's inside, bro? What's inside? Yeah. And I pull it out, like, it's the phone doing it. And then, yeah, they asked me, what was it? And like, can you prove it's an alarm? I show them it's an alarm, then they're like, okay. And then they just let me go. Well, imagine if they grilled you being like, it's a shit song. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, Enter I, Shikari, I, what are you? I think I stopped listening to Enter Shikari after yeah. that. Cause I think every time I got like, cause bear in mind, right? As a 16 year old thinking that you're possibly gonna be like kicked out of like exams. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. traumatic as fuck. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. dude, my mom's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be destroyed for life. But yeah. luckily they gave me a slap on a wrist. Although I'm pretty sure they should have like disqualified that exam result, but they did. I, I purposely chose a song that I knew I was going to hate because that just, it, it, especially if it was like an alarm to wake me because yeah. you can't listen to an alarm of a song that you hate for too long. Yeah. Right. So it you, just, you, you can, that's actually really yeah, clever. It further incites mm, me to be like, yeah. I got to turn this shit off immediately. So I chose fucking Yan Cat. <laughs> no, I like Yan Cat. I did not. I, I mean, like, like I could not listen to that for more than five seconds. Right. To be like, and oh, that's I exactly. It. I was like this perfect alarm material. Cause <laughs> the moment, like imagine just like 8 AM and you're just having a nice <laughs> sleep. And then just from downstairs, you just hear <laughs> It's like, oh, shit, I gotta- so Songs like that help me get in the zone though. Like when I'm gaming, like repetitive. <laughs> like it, what, it's- cat? Dude, I could, man. <laughs> I remember I got like four hours this, in- This fucking brain, man. This, what's this the, fucking brain. What's the, what's the dance till you're I, dead I, song? You know the one. 
Uh, uh, like, your dad, dad, yeah, the 10 hour compilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got like, in one gaming session, I got like six hours into the, <laughs> the, the, the Deku dance to your dead thing. <laughs> Dude, to, to be fair, that song is sick. That yeah. song, I, remember, I, I have gone through like a few hours yeah. of that 10 hour. That yeah. song, when you're gaming, dude, it's like, you're in the fucking zone, dude. <laughs> and then you check over, you see Deku headbang yeah. and you're like, nice. Cause that's, nice. that's that that song is just like audible crack, you know. You, you just, it's so like especially, it's, especially it's, when you're it's gaming, hacking your brain, yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. It, it just hacks. It just it just probably gets you in a zone. Nyanket, on the other hand, is just the complete opposite of that, where it's just like this really annoying noise that you just can't pinpoint. Yeah, yeah. And yeah just like, Nyanket is like audible heroin, right? Like, <laughs> it's, it's like, it just doesn't do anything for you. It just makes you feel sluggish. Wait, audible heroin? Does heroin not do anything for you, Jerry? No, what do you take? What do you? Take it's it, more bro. just like the more you take, the more you're just like, I can't function this as a human. It's obviously coming from an analogy from three people who have never taken heroin yeah. before. <laughs> it's, it's like that office joke, right? Where it's like, why do they always talk about it's like crack? They've never tried crack. <laughs> That's actually one of the, the few jokes I love from the office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I remember one time I was hanging out with Jeff, mother's basement. Yeah. Sorry, Jeff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you out for, for this. But I remember um, we were, I think it was at an AX party. Yeah. And we were talking about like, how how like how much crazy like some some crazy shit that we've done yeah and I was talking about oh yeah it's like downing a pint of cocaine I'm like yeah that's <laughs> not how you do cocaine <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I was just I was just like I mean, it was just the it was just the blinking meme was like. Jeff, that's, that's, that's not how cocaine's done. You don't, you don't down a pint of have cocaine. You, have you downed a pint of anything? <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, oh my gosh. So yeah, thank you for that, Jeff. I'm definitely gonna be using that in the future. And the subreddit's definitely gonna be using that too, I guarantee. <laughs> it's like downing a pint of cocaine. <laughs> Talking about downing Snorting a line of heroin. <laughs> 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 to get to the actual topic that we were going to talk about before we went on this massive tangent, as mm. we always do, yep. um, I guess we wanted to talk about food, right, guys? Because I love food. I, I love food. Who doesn't love food? I only exist. I love consuming meal. things in my mouth. <laughs> that came like out that. really wrong. I'm, like glad, like I'm glad you prefaced the way you uh, do it. Perhaps a pint of cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> I love what the bite of cocaine is in my mouth. Man. Yeah, um, I guess the reason I wanted to bring this up is Joey, you mm. recently chose to become a pescatarian. Yes, but yes. let me explain. Like, like a pescatarian in like inverted commas. Yes, yes. yes so yes. I, I I didn't decide to like fully transition because I like meat too much. Yes. But I figured just for about a month, Aki and I were like, let's see if we can be pescatarian because yeah. I feel if there's, any country that is perfect to be a pescatarian, it would be Japan. Because yeah. pescatarian, if you don't know, means it's basically vegetarian, but you can also eat fish. Yeah. Um, fish aren't animals, they don't have souls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're not, that's not real meat. Fish aren't real meat. So uh, yeah, so I figured just as like, uh, not so much like as a morality thing, but more just to better my diet and just eat yeah. a little bit healthier. We were like, okay, let's let's try and be pescatarian for like one month because it's gonna be the, so basically my last month of my 25th year is yep. gonna be me as a pescatarian. <laughs> and then on my 26th birthday at the end of September, I'm gonna be like, give me all the meat. Give me every everything meat. meat. I don't wanna see a piece of greenery <laughs> on my plate. Man. <laughs> I, I, dude, when I was like, I feel like I was raised where if the meal didn't have meat in it, mm. it's not a meal. Yeah, like that's, I, that's, that's, that's how, how I feel. I yeah. think maybe that's like a, is that a British thing? Uh, maybe? I don't think so. I think it's an Asian thing as well. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I remember, I, I, I still to this day, I, I cannot get full unless I have some kind of meat. Just give me a crumb and, and, of chicken, and, and I, a crumb I, of chicken. Yeah. Like <laughs> I do count fish as meat, but if I just have no meat. Yeah, there needs to be like something yeah. dead on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how it is though. Yeah, I, yeah. I need something dead on my plate unless like, cause I've tried having like vegetarian meals uh, yeah. and then I get filled up and then I get hungry an hour later, like well, yeah. without yeah. fail. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's, I guess. And I don't know if that's like a mental thing to be my body's like, bro. There's bruh. probably some diet expert watching us who can explain. I'm yeah. just gonna, we're just gonna go off all anecdotal evidence. Right, right, so right. don't take anything we say yeah. seriously. So, yeah. yeah, so basically, yeah, I figured, you know, I like fish a yeah, lot yeah, yeah. and Japan is such a seafood heavy country. Yeah. Where you could walk down the road and get some sushi or get, you know, go to the supermarket and buy pre-cooked mm. fish or yeah. stuff like that, right? Yeah, and and the, all of it tastes so fucking good. It's also, well. you also don't have to worry about it here. I feel mm, like yeah. I, dude, whenever someone ordered like oysters or shit mm. in a like not extremely expensive place in the UK, I'm like, bro, all right. Yeah, oysters are like, you never order oysters unless you trust the place yeah. you're ordering oysters yeah, from. And it's exactly. like also if the, 
curry place, the Indian curry place. Don't I mean, fuck with that, shrimp. That's always that's always a coin that's, flip, okay. no matter what. That, in the, in the, at least in the UK, that is a fucking gamble unless you have a place. And even even if you have a place, you're like, but do they treat the seafood correctly? Yeah, they've probably I got need, it. I need to have seen I'm, this fish die in my face. I don't. I, I feel like there are some certain cuisines, like like in, in the UK, cuisines. In the UK no, not, not just in the UK. It's like in Thailand, especially uh, like street food in Thailand tastes amazing, but would you trust it for like to pass hygienic tests? But Not exactly, <laughs> it's, but it, it doesn't stop it from tasting. Yeah, you just you take, you take that risk. Yeah, and yeah. some of the dirtiest looking places taste the best. Yeah. I don't know why. It's true, it's I true. don't know why. But it's like at AX, right? When you're walking down AX and those hot dog stands are there. Oh and, yeah. And, and oh. they've had these hot dogs in these like cardboard packaging and it's been out there all fucking day. Yeah. And then they just chuck them on the grill and sure it looks amazing on the grill, right? But like those have been soggy for like eight hours. Yeah. Dude, they smell fucking amazing. No, they do. Yeah, they nah. smell amazing. but. It, it's like, what is it? Like the fucking succubuses, right? On, on like all the, the stories, right? Don't, they, they look amazing, right? Yeah. It's too good to be true. Don't, your stomach's gonna hate you. The only people, every time someone gets sick at a convention, it's always because they always go the to- hot It's always they, the hot they dog. always eat one of those things. And I'm like, why did you do it? And they're like, it just looks so good. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. And it's like, dumb fuck. There is like a Denny's, there is like everything around here. I, yeah. I'm not saying actually- There's Denny's. literally a Chick-fil-A down there. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, say that, but Denny's is probably a gamble as well. Yeah, yeah, so I'll be honest, In America, bro, definitely. I, yeah, but, but I, I kind of had a similar thing uh, in the Philippines with street food because because <laughs> I, I, you know, the one time I went to the Philippines to go see Aki's family, I yeah. was like, you know, there's all this amazing looking street food, but yeah. I feel if I don't make the right choice, I'm probably just gonna die on the road. <laughs> so it, it's really weird. I did uh, like get uh, not food poisoning, but I definitely got like some bad diarrhea Upstart from one stomach, of the street yeah. food, yeah. but it was from a mango. That I wow. Had. Yeah. Which is weird, right? You wouldn't expect- A fruit really do you like that, man. Yeah. It was like, of all the- of all That's the why I weird eat things, meat. That's why I, I eat meat, man. Yeah. I had, I had fucking Bullwood like that yeah. I just bought off a random woman on the street. Bullwood yeah. is a duck fetus, right? Oh, dude, that oh. shit looks nasty, you would think bro. That, you would think that that would get me sick, but How no, did, okay, it I, wasn't the fetus. Like, okay. It was a fucking mango. I, okay, I can understand if you've like grown up with food like that, but yeah. how can you like, you know, as it like an Australian Japanese dude, see a fucking like like a bird, yeah, just bird and just be like, yo, fucking that looks tasty, bro. Give me two of those. Hey man, Aki's dad was like, yeah, that shit tastes good. I'm like, all right, I trust you. And so I bought two. Is that I, is that the weirdest thing you've eaten? It's probably I, the weirdest I, thing I've eaten. See, yeah. I, yeah. I, I trust people when they say that, but I'm looking at them the whole time like. I do not expect anything from this. I'm gonna eat it just to entertain you, but yeah. I, I'm expecting this to taste like shit. I mean, yeah, I filmed a video on it as well. It's on yeah. my second channel, right. but like I, I went hot because apparently Aki told me that like, oh yeah, this is like one of the, you know, Fear Factor, right? Yeah, like yeah, the American yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Apparently uh, she said that, oh, uh, this bullet stuff yeah. is like one of the last foods that they eat on Fear Factor. It's like, yeah. if you can Dude, eat this, eat you can eat anything. I'm like, but it's just a duck fetus. Like I'll, it's, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll eat it. I'm just not gonna be happy about it. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, dude, yeah. I looked at that motherfucker dead in the eyes <laughs> when eating it. So I was wake like, up, wake up. I was like, I was like, yes, you it's, are going into my yeah. stomach. It's like in Japan, they have this uh, at the sushi restaurants, normally fish restaurants. They have like yeah. the sperm sack. And this shit is disgusting. Oh, oh shit, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, and, and even when you speak, speak to Japanese, they're like, yo, you either just despise that shit or yeah. you love it. Like, yeah. it, it it's an acquired taste. It is acquired. It's, yeah. It looks like a brain that has lost all the water. Like, it, <laughs> like it's fallen apart, right? It's all untangled, bro. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. and then when someone's like, what is it? Well, what is it? Oh, no, just try it. He <laughs> he. Yeah. And then you try it and like, oh, it's a sperm sack. Yeah. And it, With and, the sperm uh, in it. And yeah. it tastes like how you would imagine a sperm yeah, yeah. sack yeah. would taste. It, it does feel like you just got jizzed in the mouth. Like, no, no. It totally does. Cause I remember, I, I remember like the weirdest thing, like I would say I'd had was like in China mm -hmm. where it's, you know, like I was with a friend and their family and I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know if this is an Asian thing, but mm. whenever they see a foreigner trying, like, they always like, order like the most exotic food and then try to get them to try it. Right, 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 right My right. parents do exactly the same <laughs> and the, uh, their family did exactly the same to me. So they were ordering all this weird shit. And then they ordered this soup and they tell me, oh, try, try the soup, it's just beef soup. Right, so I, I start I start <laughs> chowing down yeah. on this beef soup, and then I was like, mm, "This is this is all right, this is all right." And then I get to this like really chewy chewy parts that I have to like really like I think I know bite my way is. through. Right, I'm like, "Oh, what is this?" And it had like the most awful like aftertaste you can imagine. Right, it it just like 
it just like stayed in your mouth forever. And then I asked them, what, what the hell was that chewy bit? And, I, and then uh, my friend asked, you know, th their family and they translate it to me. And they said, oh no, that's probably the bull's testicles. I'm like, <laughs> bruh, I'm like, bruh. hold on a second. What, what is this? Oh, this is a uh, bull's penis soup. And I'm just like, why did you not? Why did you not lead with that? This feel, yeah, this feels like information I should have been told at the start of this meal. Uh, no, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. They were like, "Oh, this is beef soup. This is beef soup. You can have this." I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm one of those people who would not be mad at that kind of stuff just because I want to- Free dick, bro. Yeah, Free I want to I want to try all the weird shit. Like, because I no, know- No, I do as well, I do Yeah, as because well. I know, right? I know yeah. if I went to a restaurant like that by myself and I looked at the menu and I saw bull's penis testicle, <laughs> I bull, bull's penis soup. Oh my God, oh my Joe, God. that was a fountain, bro. Joe, he's like salivating at the thought. Bull's penis, sorry. I was like, that just tasted so good. See, see, it's like people like that, right? I'm like, yeah, order it, order it. I'm gonna yeah, look yeah. you in the eye, I'm gonna eat this shit. I want you to know that I'm gonna yeah. eat it. And I'm gonna yeah. tell you it tastes like shit. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. No, of but, going, like, but, eh. but like, again, like if, if I saw that on the menu, I probably wouldn't order it myself. <laughs> no, right? You're no, gonna go there's for no like way. the no. beef burger. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll get yeah. something yeah. that I'm familiar with. So I would rather someone just order me some weird shit yeah. and then trick me into eating it so that I could be like, well, I may not have- <laughs> Thrax. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, well, I may not have, you know, enjoyed it, but hey, now I can say that I've eaten bulls testicles, yeah. you know? I don't think I'd be very happy if someone had been like, hey, that's a dick. And I'm like, yeah. I'll be like, Damn. to be fair, they disguise it very well. You know, sometimes- Is it gay? <laughs> <laughs> Am I gay now? It, it didn't look like a dick because it was like all minced up into like a ball. And oh, then like, I don't think they would the, just chop it off and be like, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a full dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a full dick oh, on a plate. Appetite. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, it's just bull meat. And yeah. I'm like, what kind of what kind of bull meat? That, that looks very much like a testicle. I, I, I think the problem is with with stuff like this for me, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this. I don't want my fucking meals to be a fucking like adventure game for someone, dude. I just want to eat, bro. Yeah. Like sometimes I just want to enjoy my meal, have a nice time. You just want to skip the story, right? Yeah, and, and, and not not turn it into like a fucking Bear Grylls TV show in the middle of this restaurant. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I hate it when people try and do that. They're like, try this try this awful thing. I'm like, why would I try that awful thing? You've just told me it's awful. Why are you trying to make oh, me no, eat I'm something? I'm the complete awful? opposite. I will happily be yeah, like, yeah, I'll yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jo Joey's that guy in a yeah. restaurant who just like orders the no, weirdest no, shit. No, yeah. yeah, you and Aki both do it. You'll, we sitting down and it'll be like, so who ordered the slime shit? Who ordered that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aki will go, oh, I like that. And I'm like, that's a lie. You don't like it. You're just ordering it to make yourself look like your fucking bad grills at this izakaya. Just admit it, okay? Admit it. No one likes it. And I love, I love the fact that every time we get to that moment, every time without fail, you're like, do you guys want to try some? And yeah. every time we just say, no, no Joey, no. that doesn't look appetizing. But I want you guys to try so, it. So then jo Joey finishes, what is it? What is this goop shit you always get? What is it? What? You know the goop, it's like a- Oh, taco wasa? Yeah, it's fucking awful. Yeah, it's like it's a, like a yeah. uh, octopus that and wasabi and you I've, put it in a blender. Yeah. I've never seen any Japanese person order it around me. So what do you I'm mean? Not... I know plenty of Japanese people nah, who eat dude. it. Nah, nah, Why do you think it's like a staple menu at Izakaya? <laughs> nah, nah, it's on the bottom, dude. I don't know. <laughs> and then after that, there's this other like fish that I, I don't know how they prepare it, but mm. it, it's just got the consistency of a tire with no taste. Oh, you the know, uh, it's like fish. A toenail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the toenail the thing. <laughs> it tastes. It tastes and looks like a toenail. It, it, it's no, a, and it feels like a toenail. It has it's, the. It's, it's Ray. It's, yeah. it's Stingray. Stingray yeah, like fin, right? Yeah, Stingray it, yeah. fin. It's the kind of thing where it's like, yeah, sure. When I'm drunk enough, I'll chew on it and I'll have no complaints. But when it's like I want to have a meal, why would I fill myself up with something that doesn't taste like anything and takes me ten minutes to eat and just frustrates me? You had that the other day, right? When we went to a restaurant and I ordered, um, I ordered the order? thing. And oh, you know, the yeah. robbery stuff. Yeah, I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Was like you, Joey was like, it's zero calories. And I'm like, so what if it's zero calories? <laughs> well, because you're always on about like, how many calories does this no, no, have? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just thinking like some sometimes, you know, in a meal, you're like, all right, I don't want to kill myself, right? Yeah, my dad, my dad uh, described that at once as eating an eraser. You think in a <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, that. that's that's pretty much yeah. what it looks like. It's like sometimes when you hear zero calories, you're like, oh, it's gonna taste bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, like their celery has zero calories. I don't know if you've, I don't know if really? you've eaten celery on its own. Yeah, yeah it takes, of, I, of course I have. Yeah, it takes I love more celery on its own. Yeah. Oh, bro, celery tastes like shit on its own. No, yeah, it does taste. It like tastes shit. like what the ass, fuck? bro. <laughs> it tastes like like. Paint. That's, that's that's not even a quiet taste. It just tastes like paint <laughs> paint remover in vegetable it's like form. Like Brussels sprouts. 
No, no I, I love Brussels sprouts. Get the I fuck out. Get Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, sprouts. sprouts is okay. like F tier okay, okay. vegetable. <laughs> dude, why right, do right. why do people put it on roast? Everyone's just it's a massive lie. It's a I massive love, lie. I love Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I love man. Brussels sprouts. Get rid of those fucking Brussels sprouts on my roast. Because they have such like a really nice distinct flavor to them that like yeah. no yeah, other veg has. It's like uh, bitter. Hey, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I like it, it, wait, 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 it's you, just like anti umami. Wait, wait, do, with you the like, do you like? Do you like broccoli? <laughs> what? Do you like broccoli? <laughs> Broccoli's okay, mm. but okay, like, but you, okay. you have to keep in mind we're talking to someone who yeah. doesn't like ketchup. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Gaunt. Like, what the fuck? Okay, okay. Before we go into more in-depth food discussion, Gaunt doesn't like condiments. Basically, I just like the way things are meant to taste. So, so barbecue sauce? No. 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 Ketchup. I just. I just. No. Like, no we're gonna go through all the condiments yeah. here just to make sure. <laughs> Mustard. Ke ma yeah. Mustard, no. Mustard, if it's not like, if it's just like the beans. Mayo, you don't no. like any mayo, No, I right? don't like mayo. Uh, <laughs> Tabasco or anything like that, maybe? Tabasco, I don't really see that as a, com a condiment. It's, so, some, it's something like if I need an extra kick to make it more spicy. So when you eat like fries, it's just plain? Yeah, it's just salt and pepper. That's so sad. Just salt and pepper that's fries. so sad, bro. No, that's why I like my thin fries, because it like absorbs the spices. It's just yeah, oil. It's yeah. just, <laughs> like, literally it's oil. Just no, no, oil, no, we bro. said that the other day, like, because yeah. we were talking about how we like the thick, like cut fries. Yeah, right? yeah, no, yeah. I like the thin fry. fries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then God was like, oh, I don't like the thick fries because I taste the potato. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, that's what a chip is. <laughs> no, I want I want to taste, you know, the, the this can sound so bad. Like it's the oil flavor or the salt and or the salt and pepper flavor. If it's like too much potato, you're just eating it just feels like eating starch with no flavor. Dude, if it's sometimes if it's done perfectly, that starch is just fluffy yeah. and beautiful. And it works so the well when you the, put it with like ketchup or mm, like mayonnaise mm. or, you know, whatever you yeah, put with chips, Yeah, when you mix the ketchup right? and mayo together, you get a nice burger oh, yeah, sauce. Oh, fry sauce. Oh, oh, shit, so that good. makes me gag so bad, man. What the I, fuck? I fucking hate ketchup and mayo. Like ketchup and mayo. Go eat your dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go eat your dick. Balls. Ketchup and mayo, <laughs> like by dick, themselves, I like, I like disgusting enough to me, mm. but to mix them together and they, they form this like pink color. I'm just like, oh, get, Get that shit out of my face, man. No, dude, fry sauce dude, is so that, good. Okay, dude. so like, do, can you can you like go into like- I can't be the only one here. I can't be the only no, fucking no, one here. I think here. with this case, so, you are the only one. When you go into like uh, any like normal chain in the UK, you can't get it. Cause it's called mm. burger sauce, right? Okay. McDonald's, no, it's called Thousand Island sauce. Is it Thousand Island sauce? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Thousand Island Yeah, but they don't, they don't do it in like McDonald's, KFC or whatever. That's you, like ranch with ketchup, right? I think so, but mayo with uh, mayo with ketchup mixed is just burger sauce in the UK. Oh yeah, it's called That's fries. What it's it called fries sauce it? in the okay, US. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't get it unless you go to those like dirty chicken shops in like yeah. London. Right, yeah, and right. you, go, you go to them and you got to like fucking haggle with them just to get like the fucking like ketchup. <laughs> they're like they're so stingy, bro. Yeah, they won't yeah. give you anything. <laughs> And I used to go into mine all the time, dude. And I felt like I was getting mugged off there because I was like the only white guy in this area. And I would always go in like, yes, I would like um, five wings, uh, a burger. And then the, people come in like, yo, what's up boss man? I'll have uh, the wing set. And I'm like, fuck dude, oh Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> I'm getting I felt so out of place because I just didn't know how to talk. And do, right, I, right, do right. I say boss man to the guy? <laughs> Can I say boss man? Is that weird? <laughs> I feel weird going, yes, I'll just take a fry please. And uh, a tango, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a fry boss man. Yeah. And I just felt bad when there was like 12 year olds like fighting in the area next to me. And, and I'm just trying to order the chicken. I'm like, I just want the fresh one man. I just. <laughs> Can, can I have burger sauce, please? And while the other guys are fucking like jumping over the counter to grab it. Right. They would do that. They would put their hands over the counter and grab the shit. Really? Yeah, and the, yeah. People, the fucking owners- The fucking audacity. <laughs> I know, the audacity of these bitches. Actually, there is one sauce that I do like, Go and on. it's very specific, but it's peri peri or okay, nando yeah, yeah, sauce. Yeah, 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 okay. But does that, does, are they in the no, same no, category? No, that's like a marinade. Uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. cause like, I, I feel like if it's more on like the marinade side of things, that's I love like, marinade. That's like teriyaki, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like, do you I, have nando's in Australia? Yeah, we do, but it's fucking expensive. Oh, it's so no one goes to it's it. It's amazing in the UK. I fucking miss Nando's here. Yeah. I miss it so <laughs> much. Cheeky Nando's, boys. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I feel UK, I tried Nando's in the UK and it's, it's great. infinitely better than yeah. the one in Australia. Pe people always chat shit about it, but like, the thing is, is that it's like the perfect in between a fast food place and a restaurant where sometimes you just want the chicken and you want to get out. Like, right, right. You, want, you also don't want to feel like shit. It's one of the few places in the UK that we can be proud of in terms of like food. Because when you, when you think of British <laughs> cuisines, it's good. It's good. You're, like, you're like, what what, what what can we be proud about? Oh yeah, beans on toast. That's British cuisine, right? Uh, man, what's with British people getting bullied online all the time now, man? What, remember when it used to be British people were like cool in 2012 and Harry Potter was in full steam and yeah, Tumblr yeah. loved British people. And then yeah. now it's just like, ha he said Tuesday. He said Tuesday, <laughs> innit? You water, 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 water. water. Uh, bottle. Uh, he likes beans on, yes, I like beans on toast, okay? I can eat it as many times as I need to, God damn it. There's a, there's a limit with me with beans. 
Baked beans. <laughs> yeah, Why like do you say beans, beans like that? Why? Because <laughs> it's a funny word. <laughs> Be- I love like saying joining the B and I, beans. I can imagine if I wasn't born in the UK, I would think baked beans are just like, why would you ever eat baked beans? Well, I mean, because in Australia, we eat baked beans quite often as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you know, sometimes I would eat yeah. it on toast. Sometimes I would just fucking crack open a Yeah, can in university, I basically like, lived off just beans in cans and I would just heat them up and eat them for dinner. That's, that sounds disgusting to me. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't be able to live off of I, that, I didn't but. know how to cook, so I would just boil pasta and put salt on it <laughs> yeah, yeah. and eat the pasta. Yeah, cook- <laughs> I love how the cooking <laughs> experience in university it's just how many how many ways can I cook pasta? It's just, it's just that. I, it took me like a year to figure out that you could just pour the pot sauces on top of the pasta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I was so like content and I didn't want to look stupid in front of my uni, like right. the mains. Yeah. And, I, and I remember my mum like offered to teach me how to cook and I was like, I don't need that. Yeah. How hard can it be? I got this. How hard can it be? <laughs> so yeah, I was eating like plain pasta and beans for like a year. Yeah. It's pretty depressing. And like cup ramen. Cup ramen is oh, yeah, cup, great. I, I, the first day of university, I went and bought like uh, a crate of pot noodles mm. and yeah. off them. That was beautiful. You can't go wrong with pot noodles though. We should probably get back onto Japanese food, shouldn't we? <laughs> well, yeah. going back to, well, going back to Japan, or well, like I, recently, funnily enough, I just went to the Cup Ramen Museum in Yokohama. Oh yeah, week, yeah, 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 yeah. Which uh, the only reason we went to the Cup Ramen Museum was just because- It's just we, there. It, it was just there. Yeah. I was like, whatever, it's something to do. But it was actually like really interesting mm. and really fun. It was not some, it was not some place I thought to go that would be like a fun, exciting place to go, but <laughs> it, it was to, yeah, fun yeah. to learn about Cup Ramen. Like I did, I had no idea that basically Cup Ramen like exists because of Americans. Because yeah. like mm. instant noodle was instant noodle was like invented right, in like the usual packeted packeted way, and they did try to sell it to America, and Americans were just like, how do we eat this? What you have to use a fucking chopstick with bowls? Like that's <laughs> that's too inefficient. So they just start putting it in like their soda cans or the no not the soda cans the soda soda cups. Mm. Yeah. And just like poured like put put the ramen in and just and just uh, put water, hot water in. Yeah. And that's how cup ramen was invented. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was- So thank, cup ramen thank- is an American invention. Yeah, well, it's-, it's no, no, it, it, was, it was invented in Japan, the, the method no. of doing the, with the noodles. Yeah, the but, but it was when they tried to sell it to Americans oh, okay. that oh. he saw Americans doing that. And he yeah. was like, let's just put it in the fucking cup. So thank you, America, for, <laughs> for cup ramen. And uh, yeah, if you're in prison, uh, it's your currency. You, I mean, <laughs> cup ramen See currency. that one Vox video? Yeah. It's actually currency in yeah, most yeah, prisons. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of like Japanese food, what is like, what are some Japanese food you, you want more people to know about or that you have discovered since moving to Japan that maybe not many people like know about? Well, you know my answer, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I already know your answer. We, yeah. We've talked about this before. Go on, yeah. go on, Joey. It's, go on, uh, simp, it's for a- your, simp for your dish, go yes, on. Yes, I'm simping for a little dish called skimmin. It's yeah. not ramen, it's skimmin. So basically skimmin, to oversimplify, think of ramen, but separate the noodles from the broth and make that broth Thick as a bitch. I, I I will say when I first <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when, I, when I when I was first like I saw it on the menu, I was like, yeah. why the fuck would I want my noodles separated from the broth? Yeah. That yeah. sounds like it's like demarinating. Yeah, noodles, yeah, an right? extra step, right? Yeah, yeah, it sounded like it was just making the noodles less flavorful. Mm. But it just, it just didn't make any logical sense. Yeah. But somehow it makes the noodles even more flavorful when you dip them into this and you basically have the broth on the noodles. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's because because the thing with so ramen good. broth is that it's very liquidy because the noodle it's is so gonna be sitting in this broth for a long, long time. So and yeah. you can drink it. And you can drink it, right? Yeah. But skim in broths, they have to make it thick because when you put the noodles in and then you take it out again, as you said, the broth has to stick to the noodles. Yeah. Yeah. And that shit is, the, the flavor of that is so, so fucking good. powerful. And, and, then, and, so then, yeah, and then when you're done eating the noodles, you can pour like a soup yeah. into the broth to yeah. like dilute it, to make it's, it drinkable. It's, it's basically like concentrated ramen. Yeah. It's that, that's that's <laughs> basically the first time, but like, I, I don't know, because I feel like no matter what we say or how much we try to sell it, you can't sell it in words, right? No, because no. it just it doesn't look as pretty as ramen. Yeah. Ramen yeah. is so pretty. And yeah. like you, you explain it logically and you're just like, that just sounds like ramen with extra steps. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. What makes That's it so exactly amazing. what you guys said when I try to sell it to you guys. And I was like, trust me, let's go to yeah. my fav- one of my favorite skimming places in Ikebukuro. And you can just eat it and tell me. Yeah. And I took them to and this And I, I remember we were like chatting the biggest, the maddest shit. Yeah. Be like, yeah, <laughs> sh- sh- 
sure, Joey, sure, whatever. Yeah. And then we got the dish and we just sat there in like silence for a good like 10 minutes I was, we, as we were just yeah. eating this. And I remember like, I was, I, was, I was like, I remember the second place you took me to, yeah. I swear it took me, had like, I had like an existential crisis eating this cooking <laughs> man. man. I, I remember you both were eating and you, you were just staring at me and I was just like looking at this bowl of, I was just eating this bowl of sick man being just like. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what it felt like. It felt like that meme in like Ratatouille where you know, you, 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 <laughs> where, where you had, I had like one bite and it just like took me back to my childhood or something like that. Like yeah. I, I was having like a flashback to like this, this dish like grandma made me, like my grandma's yeah. never made me suki, suki men, but it like gave me that same homely feeling that, that I had when like eating like a home cooked meal like yeah, back yeah, as a yeah. kid. And I was like, what is what is happening right I've, now? I've never seen anyone have a food wars moment in real life, <laughs> but that was legitimately the closest I've ever seen. Dude, to- I, I was this close to like fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hey, I remember I, I stopped to like, cause you were sitting opposite me and I was eating and I looked over and you were kind of just, just like silently staring at it. And I, just, and I remember I said to you, I'm like, are your eyes watering? <laughs> are you like really Plus about it, to cry over the bowl? Does it hit different <laughs> gun? <laughs> no, that, that is, that is uh, that definitely did. Meanwhile, I was just there in my mind, like fucking Tyler one, like, yeah! <laughs> just fucking eating it. Like, and then I remember the next day we were t- you know talking about, you know, whatever the fuck we were talking about and got just texted like fully serious being like, I had a dream about that skin man last night. <laughs> yeah. I actually had a dream about that skin man because it's it's that fucking good. As well, because they like have the, the meat and all the veg in the broth, mm-hmm. when you bite into like the veg or the meat, they have absorbed this intense broth and it just bursts and yeah. it's so fucking and good. And the meat is so soft and just yeah, like- it's so yeah. tender, and so tender. Like honestly, like I'm not gonna say that the ramen in Japan is bad or anything. Like there's some fucking fantastic ramen out there, but yeah. I yeah. just feel that Skimmin is such an underdog because people just, as you say, people just think that it's just an inferior ramen. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. And I didn't yeah. even know about Skimmin until I right. moved here and you told right. me about it. And I feel like people only come here and they only know ramen. Cause right. I, 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 when I came here, I only knew ramen yeah. as well. I totally don't blame people who are like, oh yeah, I just want to eat sushi and I just want to eat ramen. Yeah. But it just frustrates me when there's Literally, you go to a ramen shop and they usually have skimming on the menu as well. Yeah, yeah. And yet they just completely ignore that and just go for like the basic bitch ramen. Yeah, right. and I feel like, you know, you, you do get a better ramen experience here than you do Try. like anywhere else in the world. Try. Yeah, it just frustrates yeah. me when people are like, I'm going to go to Ichiran ramen. And it's like, you can <laughs> have an Ichiran in America. Dude, why I, would you fly all the way to Japan to have like, something you can have in America? Like, I do not understand why, you know, people come to Japan and they try like, what, what's the coca, what's the curry place? Coca curry. Is it coca curry? That's coca, like, uh, like Ichiban. international oh. one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why they come in and just try the Coco Curry here. Right, right. Like, in defense of both those chains, I'll, I'll be devil's advocate. I, <laughs> okay, I, okay. I, th- I went to Ichiran Ramen like maybe a month ago. Yeah, I thought right. it was pretty fucking good. I yeah. thought it was like- It's yeah. not bad. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's if just mid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, it is. If you don't live here, right? And you don't want to fuck around with going down these alleyways, looking on Google maps, right? Yeah. Trying to find shit. I can understand where you're like, I want a good ramen mm. that delivers and I, and I don't have to talk to anyone. They have an English menu. I get yeah. that. Cause sometimes these ramen places, bro, no pictures, only kanji. You gotta, you gotta give your ticket to the guy. You gotta hope that he calls you out and you know that it's you, right? Yeah, like yeah. that's a little, you know, you know. You gotta figure out if he's asking you if you want extra veg yeah. or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Cause you hand yeah. it to him and he'll be like, you know, he'll ask what size and you'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> or like, do you want rice? Rice they ask some, and yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. sometimes, and cause the word for rice and meal is the same, gohan. Gohan. And so yeah. and one time they asked me gohan, I just completely forgot that it was rice. And I'm like, yeah, I want a meal. I just gave you my ticket. You dumb, <laughs> you dumb fuck. Take my ticket. Like, yeah, I know that's Goku's son. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I get it. Where I, it's you and ramen. And it, okay, it was a little expensive though. I'll give you that. Like, yeah. The, the, the noodles were thin though. It was good. I, you know, I want to start a series where I go around reviewing ramen chains. Yeah, like, but that's yeah, the problem I, can... I have with Ichiran, right? Is that it is the thin noodles. And like, I don't have a problem with the thin noodles, but mm. I like my noodles like I like my women, right? Like I like them thick. I was like wondering it's, what you were going with Jerry, that. Jerry's like the inappropriate uncle that has to mention like <laughs> something sexual every 10 seconds. Of course. It's the only way people relate to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I, that's what that's what I love about skimming though, is that like those noodles are so Fucking thick. So there's, so there's like, it's, okay. But it's, I remember the first place you took me to. It yeah. was like trying to go to an all you can eat buffet with like this this one little noodle dish because it was so thick. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember I saw you guys finishing it and I wasn't even like halfway through. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> 
With, uh, okay, with, I, can, I can do more. I can, I can do I this, guys. I can't take all the thickness. <laughs> with <laughs> with Suke Man, you cannot pause. You have yeah. to keep going. If yeah. you stop for a moment, you will think, yeah. shit, I'm yeah. full. You can't yeah. let your brain yeah. catch up no, to no, your no, stomach. No, don't let it. Right? Just like the, it was like doing the Big Bang Burger Challenge in like Persona 5, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's That was kind of what I felt like. I, I got what well, the you main character felt. You didn't have determination points, No, man, I didn't, like, I didn't. I need, to, I need to like upgrade more points, man. Weak, Okay, in Japan, there's like, what? Three main types of noodles, right? There's the the soba noodles, the udon and mm. the ramen, right? Yes. Yeah. Which, okay, and the difference between these are the, the soba ones are typically like healthy, quite thin, right? Soba yeah. is buckwheat. Buckwheat, it's quite yeah. healthy for you. Yeah, and it's I definitely the healthiest, yes. Is ramen the least healthy for you? Ramen, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of calories in ramen. Yeah, ramen like, I'd say is probably, yeah, the, very probably the most unhealthy. Yeah. And there's udon, so ramen's kind of like in the middle. So, soba's really thin. It, yeah. it tastes healthy, so make of that what you yeah. will. And then uh, udon is the real fucking thick boy. And the like, thick white why, 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 why does soba taste healthy? I don't understand. Because like, it is healthy. It is, I know yeah. it is, but I'm just like, what? what is the big difference between Sober and ramen. I'm, I, try, I'm trying to like put it into words now. I'm just like, I, I think I, I maybe don't it's really because know. a lot of sober dishes aren't sitting yeah. in this very like sober oily doesn't broth. hit back, bro. Yeah, <laughs> sober just goes down. Yeah, ramen, yeah. ramen fights you as it's going in your stomach, bro. It's like it's a challenge. You got to like you got to beat that shit in your stomach. <laughs> Also, I've noticed ramen that- Ramen is sober with attitude. Yeah, <laughs> it's sober with attitude. <laughs> I think because ramen is so heavy, heavy in calories, even the shitty cup ramens taste fucking good here. But yeah. if you go and get like the supermarket sober, that shit tastes awful. Yeah, yeah it, it does. It tastes really it, bad. You need to go to a good sober place. Yeah, really appreciate yeah sober it. restaurants are amazing. This video is sponsored by Grand Summoners. It is a challenge quest game where you are transported to a fantasy universe where after centuries of peace, the banished demons have returned to ravage the realm of Ractahelm. Grand Summoners is an old school RPG exclusive for mobile that is now having a campaign with One Punch Man. I love that show. So there are three free One Punch Man units that are available in the game. Genos and Boros can be acquired by clearing the One Punch Man crossover event, Hero from Another World, and all players will get one free guaranteed crossover summoning ticket on their first login. Some of the obtainable units are Saitama, Terrible Tornado, Hellish Blizzard, Sonic, Garo, Genos, and Boros. That's a lot of characters. That is sure is, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> There's fully animated special abilities for each character. Did you also know there's an original story featuring One Punch Man characters in the world of Grand Summoners? I oh. didn't know that, Connor, but did you also know that there are new buffs and equips? One Punch Man units have been strengthened from their previous iterations and new hero suit and Genos vest. Get out of here. Did you also know there is login rewards, free One Punch Man summoning tickets, free crystals, free luck gems, and more? No fucking way. And also limited time <laughs> events as well. That includes 120 luck. All One Punch Man units can be upgraded to 120 luck. Which 120 will help. luck? Yes, God, that will help the players with farming powerful items. That's I can confirm that. So make sure to check the link in the description below. And thank you to Grand Summoners for sponsoring today's episode. Back to the video. So yeah, in sober restaurants, they give you the choice of cold soba and hot soba. And as someone who's grown up with like noodles my entire life, I've grown up with the idea that you have to have noodles as like a hot dish. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like, is it weird for you guys, especially you, Connor? Like the the idea of eating a cold main Bro, dish. If there's options, I'm always gonna go hot. Like, yeah. I, I was, yeah. I went out the other day, and it was like it must have. Not, this is like two weeks ago. I went to a place. Had like the AC wasn't working. It was like 35 degrees. Feels like 40. I was like, yeah. The the person asked me, do you want hot or cold? I was like, hot. Yeah. <laughs> no one else in this like restaurant- the absolute mad yeah. Yeah. No one else in this restaurant had hot. I could yeah. easily see that. Cause you know, it, it comes in a bowl when it's hot. And yeah. when you get the cold, yeah. it's on like this little like bamboo thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and dude, I was sweating my ass off in this restaurant, but I still, I was like, I'm glad I got hot. Cause, cause hot I remember, has yeah, I, I, I remember when I first moved here, I was like hot soba, hot soba, oh, yeah, only yeah. hot soba. And then I tried cold once and I'm like, <laughs> Oh, this is really refreshing. This, yeah. this tastes like, it tastes so totally different, but it still gives me like a, a good feeling. No, I don't I, know. I've had it cold. It's not bad. I just, I, to me, cold thing, like cold noodles don't feel like a meal. It feels like a leftover. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> hot, hot noodles feel like a meal. I mean, I, I kind of get where you're you know saying, what I mean? but it's like, also it, very it feel, monkey It feels brain. like you found it in your fridge, right? And you're like, ah, okay. <laughs> Let's eat it. Right, like, you know? is the but logic that fair, like you can't be bothered to, to, to eat be it fair, off, like you with with when you order cold or uh, a hot uh, soba as mm. well. So when you get hot soba, you just get the noodles and the broth that it comes in. Yeah. yeah. But I always feel jealous of the cold people who get the the little the dipping sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so Damn. so you, with, with the cold soba, you have like like a, li a tiny it, little bowl. What is the sauce? 
It's like a shoyu base. I thought uh, so, like yeah. a soy, and it's really good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not. It's not a broth. It's just like a sauce, and then you, you dip it you, in. You take you take out the soba. You just dip it in, like whip some wasabi in it, and then you just yeah. Cold soba is the skim in of hot soba. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is just yeah. the skim. No. Oh my god. Oh my god! And further we proves my point that skim in is superior. We figured it out. <laughs> I, I I just want to, and then there's the final noodle, which is udon, udon. my least favorite. I don't, I do not like udon. I really like udon. Dude, it, it genuinely feels like you're in a tentacle hentai every time you do that <laughs> shit. Because you gotta, you gotta, f dude, you can have like two in your mouth, and you're like. <laughs> Trying to force that shit down. Yeah, it's awful. You can't. It's so heavy. It's like swallowing a brick, bro. No, it's not that bad. It is. No, it feels like the vanilla of like the noodle world, where yeah, it, just, yeah, yeah. it just, it just, it just, it, it hit the same every time. What can I say, man? And also, <laughs> because ramen is is somewhat thin, right? Yeah, it can. It, the, the sauce that it takes on to the ratio of noodle that I'm eating is perfect. Mm, Udon, yeah. it's like this thick in my mind, right? This is how thick it feels, right? Right. There's, it's like a it's like a coating of but, but, sauce. Okay, I can't, okay, I can't but get like, into yeah. that. But here's the question though. Do you guys like mochi? Yeah, I like yeah, mochi. I like yeah. mochi. I'm not, and I'm not talking about like fucking mochi ice cream bullshit. Like I'm talking like- No, 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 no like, 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 like actual mochi. mochi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because it's like, I, I feel a lot of people who don't like udon mm. are the same people who don't like mochi for the exact reason, right? Because when you eat like a block of mochi, that's like eating a brick. And it's no, hard I, to like get that shit down. It's Udon is just like the noodle equivalent. Yeah, but mind. like that, that I like that because it's kind of like a sweet, you know, a lot yeah. of the times I like right. mochi sweets, you know, cause- I, Oh, so you've never had savory mochi though. That's I've, had, I've had savory mochi. Okay, how- I how probably wouldn't I like mean, yeah, it. Yeah, it was yeah. very like, uh, like fucking like a brick. But yeah. I mean, I was prepared for it to be a brick, <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, cause it's still dessert, right? Yeah, like, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I was different, but like when we went to that sober place a while ago, and uh, no, Udon place, sorry, it was like, we had this broth and the udon just didn't stick any of the broth to it. And I'm like, what's the fucking point? Yeah. Well, because it's supposed to be a light taste. It's supposed to be like a really thin flavorful, like umami nah, taste. Dude, nah, dude, it ain't it, it, ain't it, it. it just, I don't wanna it say it's it. an acquired, I didn't think <laughs> udon was gonna be an acquired taste. Do you but. think Do you think udon is the worst of the three? Uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I feel like I like soba and udon equally. But ramen right. is definitely ramen or rather skimmen is definitely above those two. But I, yeah. I, I like udon. Like I, I I don't I'm not gonna like opt for udon every single time. But yeah. if I went to an udon place, I'm not gonna fucking complain. See, if I if I had the choice, I would like never go to the udon place. I'd like I, I would always yeah. be more in the mood for soba or ramen. Right, like, right. Like, there right. would never be a point where udon udon's where I go to where there's like no other places around. Right. I'm like I guess I'll settle for udon. Mm. And yeah. He, I there, there are just some winter days where I'm like, man, I could really go for like a hot udon. Yeah, I really just want like bricks in my stomach, dude. I just <laughs> want warm bricks in my stomach with the sauce not sticking to it. What's but then the you drink the point? soup afterwards. Yeah, but sometimes it's too rich then. You know what I mean? Like, come on, No, man. no, no, just... udon broths are never rich. No, they're, they're, they're like really they're way too light, which is yeah. what I don't like about it. It's, right. it's a thick noodle with a light broth. Like I, I, I like my ramen and skimmin that have like a really thick flavor, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, just yeah. completely sticks to you no matter what. Yeah. But some days I'm just like, I don't I don't want to feel like I'm getting all this like sticky flavor on me. Like I sometimes do. I just want to get something down that'll warm me up and is nice and light and will fill me up, <laughs> but won't make me feel like shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because sometimes <laughs> when you have, as much as, I, <laughs> as much as I love skimmin, so, like it, it's like five guys, right? It's like, yeah, yeah. man, this flavor is so powerful. It sticks to me the entire time. But then the moment it starts to settle in your stomach, you're just like, kill me. Dude, I, I, five guys is that thing where you just like, I'm out for the count for the rest of the day. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, don't, don't talk to me. Don't expect me to do anything. Like, I never thought food could knock you out. I thought I had five guys, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, the opposite of that I feel is like sushi and sashimi, right? right? I also had no fucking clue what sashimi was until I first came here. A lot of people seriously? don't. No, seriously. No, I'm you'd not, be sorry. Okay. A lot of people don't. Cause I, I, I didn't know there was a choice where you could just Get rid of the rice. <laughs> I guess it's like a steak without like the sides, right? Like right, you could right. just have a steak. And I thought like, oh, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it. I will admit, right? I wanted to be that guy who immediately loved sashimi and sushi and was like, dude, I fucking love this, bro. Yeah, yeah. But it took me a while to get used to it and really get like into it and appreciate like the taste of it. Because when I first had sashimi, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't taste good. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was definitely something that grew on me. Cause I remember I went most of my childhood um, hating sushi and hating yeah, sashimi. Yeah. Cause I was like raw fish. Why do I want to eat raw And in the UK, they disgusting. do that shit dirty, bro. Yeah. Yo sushi uh, sucks true, dick. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> and then I don't awful. know, like I had like this one day where I just, for some reason I was like, man, 
that kind of looks appetizing. Let me let me give that a shot. Right, right. And then after that, after the first time when I was an mm. adult and I tried sushi again, I was like, I fucking love this shit. I mm. love the taste of raw fish. Tastes amazing. And having sushi in Japan oh, is amazing. just the quality of the fish is just so damn good that even if you go to like one of those dollar places where you can get like you can order like a plate like a small plate of sushi for like a dollar or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that still tastes way better than some of the best restaurants that, that you can find in the UK or something like that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the the quality of like, because I mean, most of the fish that they serve, we obviously don't have in the UK, mm. Yeah. but like even when you get the salmon, you're like, holy shit. I didn't know salmon could like just fall apart like this. Yeah, you bite yeah. into mm. it. Normally in the UK, you know, you get something salmon, you can kind of fucking, fucking tug it away. <laughs> you got beer grills. Yeah, you got to like, yeah, yeah. I've had salmon. I'm like literally a fucking like, I'm trying to suck it. <laughs> but in Japan, right, you eat it and it just like, it just falls apart. Yeah. And yeah. it works so good with the rice. But yeah. man, I, if, if I ever have like a workout, sushi is what I'm always craving. It's like the best post-workout meal, I think. Really? Because it's like, it's just filling enough where it's like, I don't want to go too hard, but it's so healthy and so good for you. You're yeah. like, man, I really, I feel healthy doing this. But I remember you were once saying that you can't have sushi for dinner. Yeah. Uh, it, Which is I weird because yeah. I, I'll take any excuse to take sushi yeah, for dinner. Yeah, same here, right? same yeah. here. Yeah, whenever these guys are, we're out, they're like, you guys want to get sushi for dinner? I'm like, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's always, what do you guys want to eat? And Connor's like, I'm easy and I go, do you feel like sushi? And not goes, sushi. No. Then not you're sushi. not easy. <laughs> you are like, back. That is not easy. No, 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 that no. was a fucking lie. No, no, it's, it's like, it's like, okay, I'm easy. If you want to go to sushi, we'll go sushi. I'm just going to be like, it's not a chief. Like, yeah. It's, well, then we don't want to do that to you, right? For dinner, because for dinner, I feel like, okay, sushi is great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But for lunch, I don't mind having like one flavor. But for sushi, I feel like, because it's all like, it all tastes like fish still at the end of the day. Mm. Like, yes, the fish are different and they taste different, mm. but it still feels like I'm just eating fish and rice, which is fine. But for some reason in sushi to me, it doesn't feel like a full meal. But you know, you can get other, other stuff. Fingers, I know. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like when you order like fried chicken at a sushi place, that yeah. shit is so fucking awful. <laughs> it's like this, it's like the fucking chicken has been abused and like beaten up. It's all muscular and shit. Like it's been in a fucking fight club before it was killed. You maybe get like one ounce of chicken breast and the rest is like this black bone with like veins. Yeah. You're like, holy shit, what do they do to this chicken? <laughs> And then you're like, what's the point? It's like roided up chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like hitting up the miso soup like no tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm like stocking up on it. It's normally free. I, not that I care. I mean, it just normally tastes amazing. Yeah. Because sometimes they leave like uh, some of the fish in there and they let it cook. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So yeah. fucking good. But I don't know. It doesn't feel like a proper meal. I don't know why. Because I fill up so fast on sushi, and then 30 minutes later when I've left the restaurant, I'm like shit. I'm hungry again. Yeah, I, I, I get mm. that with sushi as well sometimes where you, you feel like you feel like your stomach's about to explode and somehow like an hour or two later, you're, you're, you're like, you, 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 you don't get you don't get hungry. You just like get, you, you get peckish, you know? Yeah. Like, I, can, I can eat a little more. I can eat a little more. I think it's just the rice that expands in your stomach. Probably, right? yeah. probably. And then once it finally settles down, you're just like, oh, all right, time for more food. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I never understood why you can eat sushi for lunch and yet you can't eat sushi breakfast, for lunch. Breakfast, lunch. I mean, normally- You can eat for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Normally my lunch or breakfast is sushi. See, I, I can't eat sushi for breakfast. Why not? I can't eat sushi for breakfast. Wait, I, I can't eat fish for breakfast. What, why? It's just weird. Well, why is it weird? You're Japanese, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Can we talk about the Japanese breakfast? Oh my God, bro. The like, I'm, okay, I'm, not, I'm, not just the Japanese okay. breakfast, very specifically, the- uh, Ryokan breakfast. Ryokan yeah, but breakfast. that is the traditional Japanese yeah, that's breakfast. That's the traditional okay. Japanese My breakfast. first time hearing this was Chris Broad saying, don't ever like ask for the Japanese breakfast because yeah. shit. And I thought, oh, he's just being pessimistic. Chris, right? Yeah. I was a fool. I should have listened to you, Chris. <laughs> it's fucking garbage. Yeah. Okay, it's not. It's, okay, no. I think the, the problem is that it's the complete opposite of garbage. It's too much. It's yeah. too good. It's, yeah. There's like, you, you get about like 50 different dishes. I swear to God. And I'm just like, dude, it's breakfast. Just, just give me like, just give me a bowl of cereal. It's like a worthy contender with an American breakfast, right? Where it's just like, that's just too much food. I don't, it's I don't, actually even more than American it's breakfast. It's way more than really? American breakfast. It's, yeah, because there's there's like, with an American breakfast, you can fit everything on one fucking plate at least. Yeah, with yeah, like yeah. Japanese breakfast, you have, you have like, covers, like you, you, it, covers, it covers this entire table. <laughs> Right, and then as you're eating, they bring out like more dishes, like yeah. more small dishes in between, yeah. like the fish, the tofu, the soup, the oh, I, I can't even name they'll, it. They'll all. be like a they'll be like a salad. They'll be like a potato that's been marinated in like a different fucking way. I don't know. Yeah, they'll be like two different types of salad. Probably a plate of just 
single tiny things that you've yeah. no, no idea what the fuck they are. They're yeah. probably going to be radish because every sing, everything seems to be radish. <laughs> like everything is a fucking radish like in every, these Rio cans. Every time, every time I see a Japanese breakfast in front of me, I'm like, why am I eating an art exhibition? You know, that's that's just what it feels like. It, it's just like this looks really pretty. The, it looks yeah, really pretty, yeah. but man, I'm for one, I've never finished a Japanese breakfast. And then because, rice as well. They give you rice. Of course, yeah, they give yeah. you rice. I'm like this. This is like this is like a five course meal that I'm having just as I've woken up and. And I never ever finish a Japanese breakfast. Yeah, I don't mind the fish, the the, the cooked mackerel they normally bring you. I don't yeah. mind that. Cooked mm. ma mackerel doesn't really taste like anything. It's like it's a mackerel. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, one. I disagree about that. Ma yeah. no, mackerel is my ma favorite. Mackerel has probably like the it, most taste. It's of my yeah. favorite fish, fish, mackerel. But like, it's just so clean. Like you never get any like. There's no aftertaste to mackerel. It's just a pure. It's like the chicken. No, I get an aftertaste with mackerel. No, I, I get it. Mackerel. Ma mackerel is the chicken of fish. Nah, that's Fight salmon. That's, no, that's, salmon. Right. No, that's salmon. salmon. No, salmon. No, no. <laughs> salmon is the chicken salmon, of fish. Salmon's you the pork, can, like, salmon's salmon's the pork. You can do so much with salmon. Yeah, and people do the, do so. pork. Oh, that's no, the no, chicken. No, 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 no. That's, that's the chicken. chicken. No. Mackerel is just salmon with attitude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and no, oh! Like, I, I'm just recalling all the food items they might make you. They probably give you eggs, but then you know you probably want like fried egg, scrambled eggs, right. yeah. maybe a poached egg. Yeah. They give you like some fucking egg roll that's been rolled up and steamed, and I'm like, it's oh, pathetic. Tamagoyaki? Yeah, and it's 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 fucking cold, and I'm like, yeah. why is it cold? Give me a hot egg, please. Most of the dishes are actually cold. They're all yeah. cold, and yeah. and. I don't know if this is like a Western thing, but like I want something hot to wake me up. And the worst part is, right, is that you're, you're doing, you're eating this, and you're like, yeah, it's filling, and something's missing. Can I have coffee, perhaps? <laughs> Do they have a coffee, an espresso machine back there? Please, just I, I bring my own pods. I don't care. Just give me a fucking coffee, please. Well, that's what the green tea is for, right? It's the hot green tea. That's that. That's the hot. That's the only heat you're gonna get out of a Japanese yeah. breakfast or it's the miso awful. soup. I would yeah. kill for a coffee, man. And even when you go, like when we go with Japanese friends, sometimes they're like, man, I just, I just yeah. want a coffee. Japanese, ex <laughs> Japanese coffee. breakfast are like way too extra for my own liking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's but I mean, I guess that's why, you know, it's a it's a very infrequent occurrence, right? Like, yeah. It's, it's that special thing that it's you get- It's for the Ryokans. Ryokans. Yeah, like, yeah, if you yeah. go to a hotel, it's gonna be the shitty continental breakfast that you reluctantly eat because you ha you know, you yeah, don't really have much free choice. Food. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, those are depressing. <laughs> I don't know. I like that for like the first two days. No. Cause I, I don't know, like it's it's just it's just a recognizable meal and you have it for two days and afterwards you're just like, okay, this is getting really boring now and I want something yeah. different. Yeah. But it's like one Japanese dish that like, I, I, I don't really, I, I don't really not recommend it, but I don't really recommend it either is when people come here and they try the curry. Cause I don't know about you, but mm. no matter where I've had curry, whether it's home cooked, abroad, mm. whatever chain, it all tastes as good as each other. Like I've <laughs> yeah. never had a bad curry, but I've never had a curry that just blows me away. And yeah, just, I can agree with that. Every yeah. single time I have a curry, I'm like, this would be great if it was an Indian curry. Just give me, <laughs> just give me an, like an Indian curry could do this better and would taste better, right? I, I mean, it's just, it's too one noted, right? Yeah. And they yeah. put curry in so much fucking things here. Yeah. Like there's so many like side dishes, like the one place we had ramen, Mm. And the side dish was just curry with rice. Oh, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. why? Why is this a side? Because curry goes with everything. I, <laughs> that's so their logic. That's their logic. It's so like curry goes with everything. <laughs> Everyone likes curry. You'll, mean, you'll be happy to eat it, right? <laughs> I do, it. I, okay, are you talking shit about Coco Ichiban? I do like Coco Ichiban. Like, yeah, but like- Because it, I know what I'm gonna get. It's like such a sterilized process. It, it it's is. It's like, I'm gonna- you, you get the same thing every time, but and, it, and it's really, it really is no different whether you have Coco Ichiban abroad or here or any, any, yeah, any, any other- I've never had it abroad, so I can't comment. Is I it, had it in America. I've had it in- Is it the exact same? It's the exact same. Oh, well, okay. It's one of the only places where I can get spice that actually makes me feel alive, bro. Yeah, except I don't you, know. you choose I the know. level of spice so, that is like YouTuber material. So right? I, don't, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's, this is the same abroad, but in Coco Ichiban here, you can choose the spice level yeah, yeah. of the curry. And um, ten, as as a certified Thai man who loves yeah. Thai food and spicy food, it is fucking insanely spicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's a lot. Yeah. Except you willingly are like, yes, I will have the 10. And every time we've gone to Coco Ichiban <laughs> together and you say, yes, I'll have a level 10. Like, and they're like, J -J yeah, they're like, like blinking me. Like, are, you, are, you, are you sure? 10, it's, it's, that's the spiciest. And you're yeah. like, yeah. But one thing I don't like about the spice level in like Coco Ichiban is, is it feels like fake spice. I don't know. Like well, they're, they're, it's, it's real. I don't know. It's not, it's, 
Like when I was having I'm, it- I, I don't know, I'm crying though. So I mean like, <laughs> what are, are those fake no, no, tears well, gone? What, what, what I mean by fake spice is that it just feels like- It's added, it's yeah, like artificial. It's just, yeah, just yeah. artificial spice. It's not like true, it's not truly a dish that was meant to be spicy. Right. Like you have, you have like a, you have like an Indian curry or you have like a Thai uh, dish and you remove the spice, you feel like it's missing something. I, I, you know okay, I, mean? I think that in uh, a, a normal, a cocoa Ichiban spice, it's like a mainly a throat thing, yeah. but in a normal curry, it's like a whole mouth meltdown. Yeah, like right, that, those right, chilies right. get all over. But yeah, yeah. yeah Coco Ichiban is just like my throat is on fire. But yeah. like, I, I love pain when I'm eating <laughs> fruit. I love pain like, when I'm eating things. People as well. are like, oh, it ruins the flavor. No, you don't understand. When you are like in severe pain, oh it like gosh. it like enhances. It's euphoric. Yeah, it's euphoric. It is. Oh my it God. makes you like the pain makes the flavor so much more prominent. It's like a different. It's everything. like a different kind of pervert, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, it I is. love it the is. pain. So yeah, I don't it, understand. It's like when. I, and I know it's not like, it's not a, it's not an attractive thing to be around. No. It's not something you do on a date or something, right? No. Cause like I, I, I'm i there and I'm like fucking. Yeah. <sighs> Cause like, okay. So like so I, re I remember, the, I remember <laughs> the very first time I felt like euphoric from, from spice mm -hmm. and it's, it's on camera. If you watch my domestic girlfriend video <laughs> oh, where, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. where I eat a ghost pepper, um, there's, there's a point, there's a point in there where I'm just la where I'm like explaining it. I'm trying to be a YouTuber, you know, explaining, mm. explaining it in a funny way. And then there's a point where I'm just like lying there for a good few seconds. And I'm just like, <gasps> <laughs> and like at that point, like my, my brain was just rushed with endorphins. Yeah, and yeah. I was literally high at that point that I could literally, I couldn't think, right? Cause I was just, it was painful, but it was a good kind of painful. It's yeah. so yeah. difficult to explain where- It was like downing a pint of cocaine, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's exactly what it was like. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I mean, it's it's so, I don't know. It's, it is like- I yeah, don't euphoric. understand it. I don't understand it at all. I mean wait, like- wait, Cause people, I think you like freak out when you, when you, cause Jerry will try, he'll be like, oh, go on, I'll try it. I'll try it like a, he'll put an like inch on his spoon. He'll try yeah. it and he's like- <laughs> I just don't like- When you, like, when you stop freaking out and yeah. just accept it, it's yeah. so nice. Okay, but, but to be fair, I used to not be able to handle spice at all. So if we're talking yeah. Coco Ichiban levels of curry, cause I feel that's the easiest way yeah, to yeah. quantify yeah. it. Like I would always used to just pick zero, like no Lemon spice and herb Nando sauce. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> what yeah, dressing yeah. would you like? Yeah. Water. Yeah, yeah, water. Please. But yeah, so I I used to be just zero spice at all. But then yeah. the more I would try, it, you know, the more because I would two, always yeah. be that one guy who'd be like, oh yeah, I'll try this thing that I'm probably gonna hate. Yeah, and spicy stuff was always mm, one of them. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I know I'm probably gonna die from this, but. I'll just eat it because yeah. why not? And spicy stuff, I think that's how I built my spice tolerance now. So yeah. now wow. I can do like a level two Kokoichi <laughs> and real, be like- Real, so, real man yeah. shit now. <laughs> and be like, all right, I can still eat this and enjoy it. But I once tried a level three, I was like, yeah. no, this is to the point where the spiciness mm, and the pain yeah. just completely negates all flavors for me. Because yeah, for me, like moving to Japan, the one thing I miss the most oh, is spice. spicy food. Spice man. Because mm. yeah, you, you, you get a Kokoichi button 10 because you can't get any other spicy food anywhere. Right. Cause like they have wasabi? Like hot, they have like hot on the menu and it's yeah. never hot. It's, it's right. never hot. I mean, it's hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, go on wasabi. I, I, yeah. I have a whole rant about wasabi. Yeah, wasabi <laughs> is like the closest thing you get to spice, but it's a totally different feeling, It's in right? the nose Cause it's, it's the spice in the nose. Yeah. I, I really like that feeling. Yeah. I do, but it's just not yeah. the same as the burning sensation, the burning tingling sensation. I mean, yeah, where, where is, you know, normal spice is pleasant. I feel like eating too much wasabi is like, you know, you're in a fucking trench in World War II and the chlorine gas has just landed. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, it's it's like, it, you do feel like you're being gassed. It's not like spicy or like, ooh, ooh, it tingles. It's like, <laughs> ah! See, it's so weird because I can't do a level three kokoichi, but I love wasabi. I love wasabi. It's not, I, I think people saying wasabi is spicy is wrong. I feel like it, it is like suffocating. It's not, it's not spicy. It's just It's painful. disgusting. Yeah, it's-, it's, 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 it's <laughs> <laughs> A tiny bit, a tiny yeah. bit mixed in with the soy sauce. Okay, we're good. Yeah. But the moment you put like a little bit too much on your sushi. Oh no, yeah. I love just dumping a I, whole I load of wasabi like, into my soy sauce. I've, I've, I've stopped putting wasabi in the soy sauce. And now I sometimes like, if I'm having like a mid sushi, right up the nose. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like ball of wasabi on the sushi. Let's fucking yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, fucking animals. it's like, I, I take that shit directly now. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it diluted by my soy sauce. Next trash taste in the veins, directly in the veins. <laughs> Brings his needle to the restaurant, heats up the spoon. <laughs> it's like downing a pint of cocaine. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, you know how, how I, came to like spice. Cause obviously yeah. if you haven't noticed guys, I'm yeah. white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see that. It might not be a surprise to some of you. Yeah. I'm very white. And my, my mom 
cannot handle any spice at all in my life. Yeah. My mum will have like something that has actually zero spice in it and she'll be at the dinner table like, oh, it's kind of spicy, isn't it? Mum, it's paprika. <laughs> it's paprika, mum. It's not spicy, it's paprika for fuck's sake. It's a spice. Well, this water's a little spicy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so naturally I was never raised with spicy food ever. Yeah. And uh, what ended up happening was, is that I uh, started doing those fucking YouTuber challenges. Oh, right. I, start, oh, okay. I, I would start with a ghost pepper because I saw like Rhett and Link do it yeah. when yeah. I was like 15. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I want a ghost pepper. That sounds fun. So we started doing it in school. Yeah. We'd all do it. And you it had was, a ghost pepper at school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You could, buy, you could buy it at the Tesco's and bring it in. So oh, okay. we, used to, we used to buy them and just, <laughs> we just I would guess, torture each other. <laughs> And so I got into it. And then when I started doing live streams, I kept making donation goals. I'll eat a Carolina Reaper, which yeah, is, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, is it still the world's hardest one? It, I mean, I probably isn't. Is probably is. Someone's yeah, probably made yeah. some giga Chad Yeah, this is the spiciest that, one now. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, fuck it, uh, some abomination that's just pure gas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I must've done it like seven or eight times. And by the end of doing it, cause every single 24 hour stream, I would at least do it twice. Yeah. And so I started like just being like, okay, it's actually kind of fun now. Like I would actually like look forward to doing it. Yeah. And so then I noticed after doing that where it was just pure pain, when I went back to eat normal curry, I was like, there's you no You can't go back, bro. There's no spice. Once, once you get that, once it's, you hit you're, that Because you're desensitizing level, yourself yeah. to it, yeah. This is how people get into dominatrix. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it's, it's, exactly, no, that's exactly. It hurts this at is, first, this but is, oh, it's kind of starting to feel this good This is now. literally like drugs. Is <laughs> <laughs> like, it is drugs. <laughs> it, is, it is a drug. Spice I mean, is a drug. Because I remember when I first started dating Sydney, she could not handle spice at all. Right. And I remember the, what, what got her to start liking spice was basically when I introduced her to my parents and yeah. every time we'd have a family meal, mum would be like, oh, I, I, I didn't make it so spicy for you. But in Thai, what making, what like less spice means, just they, they, they take one chili out out of the like, fucking 50 they put in this like curry, right? That's what less spicy means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ex you've had well, the exact same yeah, experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because when we stayed over at Gun's place, uh, cause Aki can't take spice at all. Yeah. And she was like, oh no, I'm gonna die with this. Like, cause your mom was making like Thai noodles or yeah, something, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. which is usually hella spicy. Yeah. And so I had to make a really weird request to your mom to be like, um, can you just take all the spice out? <laughs> and she, like the way your mom, the way your mom looked at me was like, so I was like, speaking another language. She was like, what? That, no, that doesn't make any sense. No, it's just like, can you take all the spice out? Oh, okay. So you want one less chili? It's I was like, like, no, no. It's like, no, all, all chili is gone. <laughs> she, and she's like, it's like, it just does not compute. <laughs> And she's like, this is the first time I'm ever doing this yeah. for anybody. It's yeah. like, I felt real, it's like, I felt like I offended the time <laughs> by saying that. No, like, she so she was just like confused. Cause she was like, what do you mean no spice? Like yeah. less spice, like, it's like more less spice? Yeah. <laughs> like more, like what does no spice mean? Yeah. That does not make sense to me. <laughs> and so like, because Sydney would always have to like eat this Thai food, mm. she would have to like, at first she was like crying every meal. Yeah. And then as like the more she ate, the more, the more she got used to it. And then now she like, she like can handle spice better than a lot of Thai people. Yeah. Like we have this dish called in Thailand called Pat Kimau, which is like, which, tran classic. which translates to drunken noodle. And the reason it's called drunken noodle is that you have to be truly pissed to yeah, like yeah. be able to handle the spice, how much spice this right, has. Right. And it's like, she eats that on the daily, man. <laughs> See, because I'm sure that if I was put in the same position as you or Sydney, yeah. I would probably get used to it too. Yeah. But I don't want to. <laughs> like I want to enjoy it's my good, meals. It's good, man. It's good. It's, get some spice in your life. It, it makes the meal, like it, it gives this extra kick to the meal that you, you know, you just can't get. But that's the problem, right? Is that because I grew up eating Japanese food, there mm. isn't any Japanese dishes that have spice like that. Yeah. Because wasabi is, as we've established, completely different type of spice. Mm. And we don't really use chilies yeah. in a lot of Japanese food. So there isn't, I, I guarantee there's probably a lot of Japanese people who can just not handle spice whatsoever. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I, I definitely I definitely uh, feel that as well. Should we open the wine? Before we move on guys, um, we've had this bottle of wine just sitting down that we were <laughs> going to open this podcast. Yeah because we've hit a new milestone, of course. We've hit three milestones, technically. Yeah, yeah, three milestones at like almost the same time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so we wait, reached a hundred, wait, what? Wait, well, what, know, are the three, what, what are the three milestones? Well, let me tell you. Well, first of all, we hit half a million subs. At the time of recording. At, at the, the time, time of recording. recording. It's probably more by this time. So yes. that's one of them. We hit a hundred thousand followers on Twitter yeah. and we hit 50,000 followers on the subreddit. Yes. Oh, okay. All well, nice the, it's like all on the same day. Like all on like the same, like within, yeah. within a few days of each other. Yeah. Thank you, yes, thank you for 
fucking supporting us and watching what we do. And we, now we have a Drops of God wine. Yes, this is a Drops of God yeah, wine. I don't, I don't know which Drops of God wine this is. Uh, that's fucking good. One of so them. I'm, I'm just, really I'm just gonna first. pour like, it. You see that? He like swooshed around. Yeah, I know. Can you yeah. believe that, man? The, do- the gall of this man. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, there we go. There we I go. would like to talk about Japanese bread for a moment. <laughs> Japanese bread. Okay. I think we've already no, talked we, about it. Yeah, unless we, you have no, something no, 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 new no. to say. I would like to add something. I would like to add something to my go Japanese on, bread rant a previous time. So Japanese bread doesn't serve the same purpose here as it does in European countries. That's a problem. I'm kidding. No. Um, <laughs> no, you're not kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> bread is a staple in like European countries. Like yeah. it's saying I need I need it. I just need it. <laughs> I need it. And it, and in, in in Japan, it's like a fucking dessert project. It's like a fourth graders like, oh, let's spice it up. Let's oh. put let's put custard in the bread. Let's do all this weird shit. Let's put hot dogs in the croissant. And it's like what? Okay. Stop. To be fair though, they're all pretty bomb. No, I don't want custard. Do and then like I okay. So I like this bread. Don't get me wrong. I like this mm. bread, but I feel like something's gone wrong. So. Next to our house, there's this bakery mm-hmm. and they sell this really fucking good bread. Yeah, It's amazing. It's bread that's so good that you can just eat it with nothing on it. And I put stuff on it, like I put tuna and toast it and it made the bread taste worse. And I was like, you're in, really? the, way, you're in the way of the bread. This is the bread's <laughs> time to shine. And so I ate this whole loaf of bread. Yeah. Problem was the loaf costed like a thousand yen, which is like $10, $10 for a loaf of bread. Holy shit, dude, this yeah. better be diamond encrusted. Well, Jesus I mean, if Christ. It, I, mean, I mean, if it's the main star of whatever you're eating, I could see yeah. why it costs $10. I don't know, I've I've never been, personally, you know, I've never been blown away by bread. You ever been to Germany, bro? <laughs> no. Well, no. there you go, that's why. <laughs> German people, man, say what you will, they've, they've got bread figured out, man. <laughs> All the Germans watching this are like, hell yeah, we do. Yeah. You go to Germany, you get anything in their bakeries, yeah. it's fresh as fuck and it's amazing. It's so good. Well then, it just makes me want to go to Germany. So yeah. I'm gonna move yeah. to Germany when I'm done with Japan. Hi, Germany, <laughs> just, please welcome just me. Just to eat the bread. Oh, dude. Yeah. The pretzels alone? Holy oh, shit, yeah, that no. pretzels. No, German good, food's fucking- Holy fuck. Yeah, it's so I good. Know, I feel like pretzels and uh, bread for me, I so. always don't, need don't to be, it, they, they, are like, they are like the side dish to whatever the main thing oh, is between it. them. Oh, he said it. <laughs> oh, you haven't had said it. I need to have something with my bread. You haven't had a good pretzel, man. A good pretzel will <laughs> a change A good your like life, fat, hot German pretzel with mustard. Yeah, mustard's good. Oh you yeah, put, you don't like mustard. <laughs> you can put you can put cheese on it if you want. I think a, yeah, that, a, that's exactly it. I need cheese. No, on no, it. no, no, no. no, no. Listen, I was about to finish my sentence. Guy. <laughs> Let me finish, guy. <laughs> a pretzel on its own, just salted lightly, man, with the salt, like little salt chunks mm. in there. Mm. Man, you get a nice, ooh, you get a nice bite of that salt. Yeah. Goes yeah. perfect with your beer, man. Yeah. And even in the morning, right? It's great. It's it's light. You can have half the pretzel. Leave it, man. It's gonna be great later. Yeah. It's just it's. Pretzels. We're not talking about like the tiny fucking pretzels. The big boy. We're talking about like the big German pretzels. Tiny pretzels fucking suck. Yeah, they do. They suck. It's 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 airplane food. Yeah, (laughs) it's a shitty cookie. Is what it is. It all hits the same. No, it doesn't. (laughs) No, it doesn't. And like, I I think I've seen a lot on YouTube at least. Like, bread is like a huge like. It's becoming a huge culture here of like experimenting with it and pushing right, it and make it right. more like dessert like and what you can do with yeah. it. Yeah. And I've noticed there are a ton of bakeries that none of them do normal bread. It's yeah. just like, what weird fucking thing can so we do with bread? No, no, no. I put, <laughs> I put life on the edge, John. I'm not gonna do it. I think someone said that on one of the yeah, episodes yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Every time I'm, I say it, I'm like, like, now I've noticed it. I can't yeah. not notice it. I'm just fine, like, fine, fine. I'll put it down. I'll put it down. <laughs> No, but like yes. one- I spilled someone. <laughs> Are you happy, God? I spilled someone, I moved it. For fuck's sake. For Don't, fuck's sake. near the TV as well, what the fuck? Right in That's front- That's by your feet. Why would you put it by your feet? Cause then if I, just, I- I can't, I can't, I can't. One, one thing mm-hmm. though that I will say that I think a lot of people are gonna find controversial is that the Asian bakeries in America, mm-hmm. like the, usually the ones that are owned by like, you know, Koreans or Japanese. Yeah. I feel that the bread there is like way too sweet. Yeah, it's so sweet. It's yeah. way too sweet, but they don't really do that here. It's like everything is a brioche. Like Yeah, 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 like exactly. Every normal bread you get tastes halfway like to a brioche. It shouldn't. It tastes too sweet. It's way too sugary. Like yeah, I, I don't yeah. even taste the bread anymore. Yeah, and I've had a lot of Japanese people say like, do you think the Japanese food is too sweet? And I'm like, yes, it is too sweet. We have too much sugar in this shit. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Cause you, you, you eat a melon pan, don't get me wrong. Shit's amazing. Yeah. You look on the back, you have a fucking heart attack when you see the sugar. <laughs> it's like 80 grams of sugar yeah, in the yeah, melon yeah. pan. And that's yeah. like what, like two Cokes and a half? Yeah. Holy shit. 
what the fuck? But I would rather eat a melon plum than yeah, two cokes true, and a half. Because yeah, yeah. it's like, they make this bread and don't get me wrong, it's as amazing as it looks in the anime. It totally yeah. is. And the first week here, I used to eat it nonstop. Cause I was like, <laughs> I'm, never, I'm never gonna get fat. And yeah. then I, I, I had a scare when I looked at the back and I'm like, oh, I can, I know, that's sugar, isn't it? Don't tell me that sugar. <laughs> Google translate. Oh shit, it's sugar, fuck. <laughs> And the fuck like, you were expecting? You knew that a sweet thing would have sugar I, in it. I, I didn't think when it, when it said 82- Surprise Pikachu face. 80, 82, 82 grams, maybe it was protein. I don't know, maybe it was protein. Maybe it was protein. Maybe the bread was very heavy in protein. That's how all these Japanese like wife, like, all these wife is getting swallowed. Right, that's like a melon yeah. pan. And then I, I started to think myself, I, I, started to, I, I had this bread and I'm like, the bread tastes awfully sweet. And I did think, oh, it's kind of weird that it's, the topping is just, Sugar. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Who would have fucking yeah, thought, eh? thought. <laughs> that's weird. That's awfully weird. Talking about taking the bread away from things, let's talk about Japanese hamburgers or hambagus. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. not a hamburger. They're fucking it's a, a yeah. handbag. They're abom <laughs> an abomination I to burgers. I fucking love them. I can't fucking, because, can't fucking stand so, when so you order to that shit. So to explain <laughs> Japanese hambagus, it's literally just a hamburger or like a burger patty, uh, patty yeah. without the bun. Yeah. And what? So you, <laughs> 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 because it's good, I love it. The, I, the best part of a hamburger, and I, I'm gonna go on one of those rants again, man. It's like the pizza thing, dude. It's the synergy. synergy. <laughs> it's the synergy, bro. There nah. is there is a way to a burger, man. It's like, what? Are, it's all the accumulation of the tastes that come together and they strike slightly moderately. No, because just, because like just, for like 90% of burgers, it's, right, right. you don't give a shit about the synergy. You're oh, there do, for I the do. fucking patty. No, like no, no, you, yeah. okay, you have like a, you have like a brioche bun with some lettuce, tomatoes, like it's some amazing. bacon. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking amazing. But like you get a McDonald's burger, who gives a shit, man? Oh no, like, I, I don't, the I, McDonald's burger has been and more engineered than any burger in the world. <laughs> that thing has been scientifically proven to that be has the been perfect. Optimized as well. Yeah. <laughs> that is why you will never say no to a double cheeseburger at McDonald's. I guarantee it. No, yeah, I, I do because it's got ketchup in it. But <laughs> without ketchup, re 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 regardless of, of the animal, point, bro. it's a fucking dry ass patty. Like I don't give a shit about that. It is literal. It is literal junk. No, what? I I love my gourmet burgers, dude. I I love every kind yeah, of burger. That's the McDonald's why, burger has its place. That's, that's that's, that's why no matter what hamburger you get, you get a gourmet patty or like what, what would be like a gourmet patty on like Dude, a gourmet burger. You, know, yeah. you, you, you always order the shitty patties though in these places. Like you order like the, the shitty hamburger that was made in a factory, like probably like 10 miles away. Yeah. Like, I've and seen it's the still 10 order. times better than anything you order from fucking McDonald's no, or even like not, Burger bro, King no. or like most burger joints. Nah, you know yeah, what I mean? I'm gonna have to agree with Garn on this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, sometimes I'll wake You're up and clowns, just be like, You're you know, clowns. like I'll never say no to a double cheeseburger or a Whopper, right? On some days. A, sometimes, Whopper, a Whopper burger here is great, dude. Yeah, I'll take it over any of those yeah, shit. Sometimes burgers. you just, you know, sometimes you're just like, I just want to eat some shit today. But then yeah. other times you're like, I really just want meat. I, yeah, just, want, I yeah. just want a humbug. It's, I just want the patty. It's I'll, just the patty. Okay. It's just the Fuck patty the of a burger. I just want the patty. <laughs> In my eyes, if you're going to just order a hamburger, just like with veg and maybe fries, yeah. just yeah. get a fucking steak. Just like, no, you're, you're no, eating, no, no, you're no, eating no, red no, meat. No, it's totally fucking no, different. It's completely different. Are you different. kidding me? I will never eat a fucking steak over a hamburger. Yeah. Never. What? Yeah. I just don't, you, I don't like steak. I will, I will take the inferior worst tasting piece of I don't like steak. Oh my God. I bro. think steak is fucking mid. No, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I think, I think steak is, is, it's like eating cardboard. It's just a fucking piece of meat. I, like to me, eating a hamburger, right? Oh, what is going on? Eating a, eating what a, are these takes right now? <laughs> I'll, I'll let him freak out. Eating a hamburger, right? Is just like, it, it's like a kid's meal. It doesn't look right. It, it looks what like- are What are you talking about? Because it's like, oh, oh, you oh, little God can't handle the tomatoes in the bread. Oh, we'll just take the burger out for you. No, oh. it's, it's, it's just a different way to enjoy a part of the meal. It's like saying- When you get like the veg in a bag with your little milk and your juice, like saying, right? Can, can, like it's a it, little different way to have it's, it. it. It's like, oh, it's you talked about pizza. It's like, oh yeah, I can only eat cheese when it's on pizza. Like- Wait, I who said that? Huh? Who said that? No, that's that's the by this by the same by the same by the same, by the by the same logic. You're like I can't have that. mozzarella by itself. And why would you have mozzarella by itself? Because it's fucking great. Yeah, it tastes no, good. No, 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 no. 
Yeah. Like, it's, like it's, 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 it's with great a with a salad. salad. Yeah, with a yeah, yeah, Capri yeah, salad. That's, that's, just, that's not by itself gone. By itself means well, on its own. A hamburger is you not- know what a, by itself a means? A hamburger is not a patty by itself. You got like potatoes, you got vegetables, no, no, you no, got no, eggs, no. you got sauce, you got cheese. You, got no. cheese. Because you put it on a fucking curry. You can put it on so many things <laughs> that just is not bread and lettuce and ha- tomatoes. When you have a steak and it comes with fries, is the steak by itself? What, say that wait, again? Wait, what, what? If you order a steak and it comes with fries, yeah. is this by itself? No, it's no. with the fries, but yeah. I don't give a shit about the steak. Yeah, but what you're saying is, is that because it's it's like taken out, it's by its, it's not by itself or something? I, the I patty's not, no, 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 the no, patty's no, no, not no, by no, itself. Well, what yes, what, what, it what, I'm, trying, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to have steak with fries. You can have steak with a lot no, of other things. Yeah. If, if the patty is, is just, it's a singular thing and there's veg next to it, the patty is by itself. That's just a fact, bro. <laughs> what? What? What are because, you talking about? Because right, that is not part of like, a burger. Isn't a like it's it's a it's a the meal. The patty is is a fucking ingredient to a bigger whole. Yeah. But you can take the ingredients and you can do other things with the ingredients. If you have all the ingredients of a soup next to each other, it's not a fuck. It, it's not <laughs> like you can't just be like, oh, it's not it's not by itself. It's all it's a soup. What do you mean? Like, what are you? You're chatting out of your ass, bro. It's a burger on its own, just left there. It's depressing. Put some fucking lettuce and tomatoes and bread on that shit, man. But a it's on the side. It's on the side. Side. You can have other stuff. You, that's, you that's, can you can like, eat a nah, burger dude. in more than one way. You can you eat the, you can eat the hamburger. <laughs> you take a bite of you that uncultured shit. fuck. <laughs> you can eat the why, hamburger why, on why, the why, side. You know you, why don't you just go to fucking McDonald's, right? Order a burger and just pry it apart. Take the hamburger out and eat it. God, you because fucking animal. Because the patty animal. is shit. That is why. That the is why. The patty is garbage. The, the patty, patty is garbage. garbage. Yeah, but so is this burger that you get. No, here. it's not. The, the the beef they give you. Shit, the beef. The, the beef that they give you that isn't A5 beef here is pathetic beef. No, it's, it's not. It's so good. sad. It's great. It's like, it's a fucking great burger. As I, as I was informed by a friend of mine whose yeah. whole job is to uh, manage exports of uh, meat okay. into Japan. He informed me that all the beef that isn't the top grade stuff is just imported from well, other countries. Well then, fuck him. And it tastes like <laughs> shit. Fuck you know? him. How, in the you, UK, you're acting like that Reddit comment now. <laughs> I am, it's like, I am. Yes, I um, excuse me, I am a beef expert. Yeah. Yeah, my, dad wor- my dad works in I've, Nintendo. I've, I've heard from <laughs> a friend listen. who works in the industry. <laughs> listen, listen. That, uh, <laughs> When you grow up basically, right? Next to farms, right? And you get that beef, you get it fresh, man. You can't give me this shit of like this, this like air sealed bag of a beef carcass flown across a country. It tastes like shit. Well, what if I didn't grow up next to a fucking farm? Well, that sucks to be you. (laughs) Go and eat your hamburger. But like like by, by that same logic, why can you still enjoy fucking McDonald's patties? Or like burgers then? Because that as a burger is a great burger. It's a fucking it's great- not, It's, it's a great trash. burger. No, 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 no. It's, it's not. not even the best burger in like the fast if, food joint. You, you take a fucking Burger King over a McDonald's burger any day of the week. It depends on the mood. What you're fucking such, mood You're such need, a liar. What fucking mood? Okay, no, 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 who no, no, would explain actually to me, take- Explain I, to me the mood that you need to be in. Who would actually take a McDonald's burger when over when a I'm Burger King? absolutely plastered, there's nothing more I want than double cheeseburgers from McDonald's. They have, they have this- That just sounds like your fucking prerogative. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But also, I just think that McDonald's in the UK at least was like the best fast food chain. Yeah, probably. But there weren't many to pick from, I would say. Yeah. 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 I, I, I mean- But there's way more to pick from here. I mean like, okay. At my, the end of the day, I just think okay, a like, like if, if you could take a Burger King burger with McDonald's McDonald's fries, that would be like the perfect fast food restaurant for me. Like as it stands, I either have to pick between a shitty burger and good fries or like a less shitty burger I'm, I'm, and, I'm, I'm convinced. And, and worse fries. Yeah. I'm convinced all the fast food places have an agreement of who's gonna have the best one because yeah. why do not, why does not one of them have just figured out, hey, those are the good fries. Why don't we get those fries? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. But, but I guarantee yeah. if I blindfolded you and I made you eat both of them. The fries? Yeah. Oh, I could tell, 100%. No, Dude, I, I, I don't think we're doing it. Let's do it, let's get the fries, <laughs> well, bro. I, I, I reckon you, we could, you, you could do that with a burger as well and you wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, dude, I could, uh, with with fast food chains? Yeah. 100% I can tell. I'll bet my life on it. Uh, we gotta do it now. <laughs> we gotta do it. <laughs> I was just we gotta fucking do it. Order eats right now. I'm we gotta do it now. <laughs> Talk, can... Talking about beef though, let's talk about actual Japanese beef and mm-hmm. Japanese steaks because okay. like, a5 or nothing. A5, nothing. Yeah. A5 is like, I thought- it, It's not that much more expensive. 
It's like, it's so weird living in a country where you can go to your local local supermarket and get A5 beef. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then this this is the type of beef that gets like shipped over and you pay like 50 bucks for yeah, like yeah. A, like a fucking 100 grams or something abroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can just get it here at your supermarket. As it, much as I don't rate steaks, like A5 steaks, they they do the I, uh, striking I, yeah. comparatively. <laughs> that's, that's I, had a, I had a Wagyu burger yesterday and it was fucking amazing. And yeah, I'm yeah. so glad that there was bread, lettuce and tomatoes and cheese going. <laughs> Don't start this again. Uh, we just, <laughs> we just stayed away from it. I'm this. just saying, I just the, the, it felt good, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah. A, a burger and a steak are two different things in my mind. But okay, wa Wagyu steak is like amazing, especially when they like fry that shit in butter like so much mm, yeah, and it like mm. absorbs it. Mm. And you bite into it, it's like, <sighs> Yeah, I don't know though. Like for me, steak is just like, how often do you have a steak? Not often. That's that's why you like, can't have steak often. It gets I, I I I like. I would understand coming from your perspective why you hate steak, but yeah. to me, steak is like the best meal or the best meat you can get if it's like false. if it's like prepared well. Just false. Right. What, 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 what's, 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 better, what's better than a good steak? Bro, I think pork is the best meat. Fuck, honestly. get the fuck out of here. Like a pork steak? No, 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 not, not a pork steak. I just think, I, well, pork steaks are good. Like yeah. gammon chops are fucking amazing. Um, right. No, no, no. It goes, go, it goes, okay, okay. I, I think, Here's how the tier list okay, goes, fine, okay? Here's fine, how the fucking, fucking tier fine. list goes, okay? <laughs> okay? It goes like a, an amazing steak at top. I couldn't eat a steak every day, but like as, yeah. a, as like a one-off meal, yeah. like steak is I like- I admit, it's up there. It's up there, it's up there, yeah. And then after that comes chicken. Because chicken, you can do so yeah, much I with. Agree. And I agree. You can okay, never I've, get I've bored never of chicken. Sick of chicken. I could eat fried chicken yeah. every day at the yeah. week. I'll be real. And then below that is pork. No, no, no. Below that is pork because no. I would never like anything you cook with pork. I feel like you can do something similar with chicken. No, I, I feel like pork has a like it's the in between get, like whereas beef is really heavy. Yeah. pork is the in between, and I feel like you can do so much with pork. Like I yeah, love, yeah. No, I no. love sausages, no, no. man. Hey. Sausages are amazing. Yeah, yeah, but you can also have beef sausages as well. Yeah, what the like, fuck? Like like I've never had a beef sausage yeah. in my life. What beef the like fuck? like I, there's there's nothing you can do with pork that you can't do with either chicken or beef and have it taste better. Yeah. Wait, do you like hot dogs? No. Oh uh, yeah, I was I, he, he acts like a guy who doesn't like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not like hot dogs? It's, I don't know. The dude who's talking about- oh, like, It's cause you don't like fucking condiments. That's <laughs> yeah. why. That, that, and also the people who talk so highly about steak are like, no, 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 hot dogs are for peasants. That isn't, no, no, no. I couldn't possibly. I love a good hot dog. Hot I'll be dog, honest, does man. this have dog in it? <laughs> I do. I love hot dogs, man. I, I know that are absolute garbage and like probably cancerous, but okay, I you love have them. to have like a beef sausage hot dog though, because really? you've never had a beef sausage, right? Uh, wait, 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 so. wait. Tell me the difference between like a hot dog and a sausage, like like a, and a sausage. A sausage is okay. If you're ever gonna take a hot dog over a sausage, I, I don't think we can be friends. No, exactly, <laughs> but, exactly. But you know when you're at a barbecue and like. You know, yeah. people are being kind of cheap. You know, they want to bring the big sausages. You're like, fine, I'll eat four hot dogs. Fine, you know. I, yeah, like, like that's that's the thing. I would never pick a hot dog over a sausage. No, no, yeah. no, no. It's like yeah. a double cheeseburger, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If, if it's, if it's yeah. there, I'll eat it. And this, the, and you can okay with a sausage hot dog, right? Like a thick boy, you can mm. only put one of those away. Yeah. yeah. With a hot dog, I feel like you can put like three or four away. Oh yeah, because they're yeah. so fucking yeah, thin. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. 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 And, yeah. And they just taste like like they don't really. Like a sausage, a good sausage because is like heavy. The reason, mm. the reason I don't like hot dogs is that, or the reason I would never take it over a sausage is that it just tastes so processed. Yeah, it's but like, yeah, that's because it is. Some, no, no, that's exactly about right. like highly processed food that my brain is like. <laughs> 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 like you know? Wait, wait, okay, okay, then question. Do you like spam? Uh, uh, it's, okay. You're gonna you're gonna like laugh now. I'm, I'm, my mom's gonna feel so bad. Yeah. My mom used to make this meal. I fucking loved it, dude. Yeah. I would always ask my mom to make it. It was literally mashed potatoes and spam, just just mashed. And I fucking loved this shit. Wait, well, like no like flavoring on top of it? Or no, 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 no. Just mashed potato and spam. Like <laughs> imagine like a giant fucking pan of mashed potato, right? Yeah. And I would just take like a giant plate full of this shit and I would gobble that shit up, man. I would eat that for days. It's like cancer in a plate. <laughs> no, yeah, cause spam is, spam is one of those things where it's like, if I'm offered spam on yeah. its own and I can see it, I'm like, get that away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that shit away from me. But when it's yeah. like in something disguised, I'm like, yo, this shit claps. What is that? Yeah. Oh, it's spam. Spam fried rice is like- Okay, I used spam to fried rice are pretty hate, good. I used to fucking hate spam. Like I was yeah. like, ew, get that shit away from me. Give me real isn't, meat. Isn't it like a spam Hawaii in Hawaii? They make like a spam sushi or something? Uh, no, that's, yeah, yeah that's, uh, it was either Hawaii or Okinawa. I think it's an Okinawa dish with spam nigiri. I don't fuck with that. Like spam or nigiri is yeah, fucking no, dope. I don't fuck with spam. Okay. I don't know. I, I fuck, I, I used to not fuck with it, but spam is such a huge thing in the Philippines. Yeah. So going to Aki's parents' place, they like every second meal had spam in it. Yeah. So I couldn't avoid this I, shit. Sp spam is what I eat to remind me 
what good meat tastes like. Okay. okay. And I, <laughs> <laughs> what, do the, what do the peasants eat nowadays? I, I must know. Oh, oh, spam is it? Yeah. <laughs> hot dog yes. and spam. I suppose I could give a hot dog and a, a spam a try or two, you know? Oh, rather, oh, rather distasteful. Um, I want to know if you when you go to the convenience, right? Yeah. What's the top three? What's the top three food items that you get? Mm. Depends, depends on the combini. Yeah, uh, I, right, okay, I always okay. get. I always get. Yeah, it depends on the combini. But say if it's family mart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always get the fucking tuna bread. Do you, you know the bread? Though? Oh, the like the, the long baguette. boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that shit's good. That the shit's long good. boy tuna bread. That shit always because collapse. okay, anything with mayo in here. Yeah, in, in Japan is so much better. Yeah. So like the tuna mayo bread, is God tier here. tuna bread you know with what? the mayo on top. As someone who hates mayo, I got to admit, like mayo Japan, is good. Japan is the Japan only is place where I can kind of be okay <laughs> with it. That's okay. saying a lot. I, I, I will That's never, I will never eat mayo by itself. But when it's in like a nice potato salad or something, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I fuck with that. I thought that egg sandwiches were the most depressing fucking thing in the world. I agree. Yeah. In the UK. They're like this white mush mm. that looks disgusting. It smells vile. It, it's just gross. Mm. And then you have it in Japan. It's like this this yellow bright color. It's inviting. It's like, yeah. oh, eat me. It's like, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Eat I, me. I just eat might. Me. I just might. And I had no. it. I had it. <laughs> I had it. And my mind was blown. And I, I I cannot stop eating the egg sandwiches here, man. The egg sandwich is like fucking ruined, godly but here. I can never eat an egg sandwich anywhere else now. Because I'm going to be thinking, yeah. dude. Japan, like, Japan has ruined eggs for me. Eggs and mayo are just god tier here. Yeah, yeah. because like I, I remember the concept of just going to my first like yakiniku place mm. and just having the dips like for some like dipping sauce in like yakiniku, which is, uh, how do I explain yakiniku? It's just like uh, grilled meats, yeah. basically. It's like Korean barbecue. How do I explain it? It's me. <laughs> it's like it's Korean, just, it's just me. It's like yeah. Korean barbecue, but replace Korean with Japanese. Yeah, basically. and it's on like a skewer basically. Yeah. So for some, for some, for some dishes, they give you just like an egg as a dipping sauce, like the egg yolk, yeah. a raw egg yolk, which firstly the concept of eating raw oh, eggs was wow. really, really weird for me yeah, yeah, until yeah. I tried it for the first time. And raw egg here tastes fucking great. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's safe. I th Our I producer Maylene so. is obsessed with eggs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's completely that you can't get salmonella here from the eggs. It's yeah. pretty impossible. Yeah. When I did uh, one of my videos, I like drank a bunch of egg yeah. and all the comments were like, Oh my God, Connor, gonna you're, die. you're gonna get salmonella. You dumb fuck. I know more. I got told eggs give salmonella and I was like, reverse Uno card in this. Yeah. You hit me up with that. You yeah. can't, you can't. It's like, I don't think it's a hundred percent unlikely. Yeah. Like you, I, I have heard of a couple it's of my friends. It's worth the risk. It's worth yeah, the risk. I, I've heard of a couple of my friends get like very mild salmonella from the eggs here, but it's really, really rare. Like it's it's not as easy to get salmonella like in America. It's, right? it's yeah. because I think in uh, America and the UK and most of Europe, I think we, we wash the eggs yeah. and we get rid of the protective film yeah. on the coat. And I think it's also something to do with how we feed them certain drugs uh, <laughs> to, to like make them Pretty immune much. to diseases. Yeah. Um, yeah, cause like, what is it? Uh, shabu Shabu and Sukiyaki? Sukiyaki. Su that's one of my favorites Skiyaki actually. Sukiyaki is like, yeah, I, I put you onto that, right? Yeah, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sukiyaki is the best fucking hot pot. Shabu Shabu is like, they, they boil like <sighs> this meat and veg in this in this broth and it's kind of weak. It's like, ah. Uh, I don't rate Shabu Shabu. It's, it's like, they always advertise themselves as Shabu Shabu places mm. and then they might have the sukiyaki on the menu, yeah. but they never advertise. It's always, yo, we got shabu shabu. Yeah. And it tastes like shit. It's like water. Yeah. It's like bath yeah. water I don't know. for your meat. I, I feel like, I, I still think like the best hot pot for me is Chinese hot pot. Chinese uh, hot pot, it's like way more flavorful. I don't and know, it's man. like, it's a heavy broth. Wait, but have you had sukiyaki though? Have you had it? I, yeah, I, you have, have, I have, I have yeah. had it. Okay, okay, so sukiyaki, if you don't know at home, it's what, what's the broth that they cook it in? It's like a rich, like- It's uh, soy based with like a little bit of like, uh, fuck, what was it? It's like uh, dashi? Yeah. It's, it's, it's dashi, I don't know how to explain dashi. It's this really rich broth and to like mellow it out and give it this, like enhance the flavors, you dunk it in like egg yolk. Yeah. And yeah. So you it crack is, a raw egg, you whip it up and uh, then yeah. you dip that shit in. Yeah. So you cook everything in the broth you, and it's all covered in soy, like all the veggies absorb it. You dunk it in the egg and then you eat it. And it's fucking amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. so good. So good. It's so good. So and Chinese good. hot pot is good, right? <laughs> but I think sukiyaki is better. Yeah, Chinese, like I rate Chinese hot pot. Every time I've had oh. a Chinese hot pot, I'm like, hell yeah. Also like, Japanese uh, hot pot's pretty good too. We've had it at our place. Really, Abe, yeah, 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 so yeah, we yeah. had like, uh, I don't know which hot we pot. We had that we on had. Christmas because Connor didn't want a fucking roast. Like Not, a, none of us have an oven. <laughs> what, what are we gonna roast, Garn? How are we gonna fucking roast a chicken in the tiny little fish grill? Yeah. You got like a, you get a grill in your like uh, uh, stove top, right? Yeah. Like oven top, sorry, yeah. oven top. And you get this grill for fish and it's like this wide. Yeah, you have to like pull it out. It can literally fit 
just one fish. Yeah. You want to roast a potato? Good fucking luck, dude. You're gonna <laughs> you have gotta to, cut you, that bitch into third. You're gonna third. have to like pan fry a potato. <laughs> yeah. man. It's like, I want to roast. How are we gonna have a roast, Gon? Explain the logistics behind this. The logistics, Gon, I'm bringing it back. Well, now, now I have an oven and I think you yeah, can yeah, have, I have an, an oven, oven as, well. as well. Yeah. So yeah, next Why time. I, sorry, so sorry that we can afford an oven. <laughs> Why would I need an oven when I eat out every fucking day? <laughs> But Connor, that's the thing. Connor, you're so lazy. Why'd you eat out? Sometimes I meal I meal prep. A meal prep, that sounds so fucking lame. Yeah. Like, a meal prep, bro. Um, I'll make a curry that like for five days and I'll eat the curry over five days, like a Thai curry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's about it. That's as far as cooking goes. But that's me. the thing, or it's like, I feel Japan, I, I'm pretty sure we touched upon this on a previous episode, but- oh, People got so pissed when we said that. They were like, what? it's not cheaper to eat out if you yeah. do X and X and X. And it's like, yeah, if I ate pasta and sauce, of course it's gonna be cheaper. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to have something that tastes different, yes, it's gonna maybe be like a hundred, If you, if you want a different meal every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And, uh, and you can't yeah. be fucked to go shopping every day yeah. because yeah. the expiry date on shit is like two days to go. <laughs> yeah, and, and more often than not, when you buy stuff, like it's too much portions that I can't use. Like veg here is normally, portioned for more than one person. Yeah, it's like family yeah. portion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so like I, I wanted uh, like, uh, what was it like? Uh, the, what's the small onions, like the green onions? What are they called? Is Maybe. it green onions? Shallots. I have no fucking clue. Shallots, I think it's shallots in America. Yeah. You, spring onion? Spring onion for us. Yeah. It's, you cannot just get like two spring onions. It this has place, to be a whole fucking- Yeah, it's either a whole fucking one or a giant tub of sh like cut up ones. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm talking like more than any one person could ever yeah. use in a it's week. Like, like, like that it's big. like a tub, like this thick, just filled with these cut. And it's like, yeah. I'm not gonna use this. I feel bad because I throw all the ingredients away because I can't use Well, it's them. because it, like it cut shallots are used in literally every yeah, Japanese they are, dish. They are. So. And like if I like get tomatoes, they always come in like packs of like six. Yeah. Tomatoes are fucking big. Yeah. Like, I don't need six most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, cause of how we do, like say we record on Tuesdays, we're gonna eat out. And mm. then maybe on Monday, I'm going yeah. to meet someone for a meeting or maybe I'm, I've got a shoot on Thursday, so I'm gonna eat out. So it's more like one day a week I eat in. Yeah. And yeah. even then I'll just go to the convening at the 500 yen ramen, yeah. Yeah. which is like, you know, sure I could make which my own. Which is technically the top tier. Which, ramen, yeah, right? which, which I could make my own ramen, yeah, but yeah. it'd be more expensive. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, of course, some people, if you want to be picky about it, yeah, you can save money. Mm. The yeah. same way if you eat pasta in the UK, you'll save a shit ton of money. Shit ton of money. Yeah. But if you want to like live but like a human being. if you actually want to like, you know, enjoy your food. Yeah, yeah. If you want to not be depressed 24 seven <laughs> what you're eating, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. yeah. cause going back to the kombini thing about yeah. foods that we buy, like I, I, I go less to the kombini, kombini now to get meals. I remember when I first moved here, every day, I, I, would every like, day I would go to co get a kombini meal like every fucking day. Yeah, yeah. And like the kombini fried chicken here is fucking great. Okay, yeah. with an asterisk. With an I asterisk. Have to say. <laughs> Family Mart fried chicken fucking sucks. <laughs> okay, it's way too I greasy. It's you, it's like a layer of like fat. I around see. It you as well. feel like you're eating death yeah. Yeah. as you're taking a bite. I, and I see YouTubers. I think like Chris Broad says that his favorite's Family Mart chicken, and, and you eat into this thing, and it's the most depressed <laughs> thing you can eat. Yeah, it's as like, depressed yeah. as he is. You, like. Yeah, yeah. You, you, <laughs> you, you take a bite into this Love thing. It, it is pure water and oil. Yeah. That chicken. Was, was probably anemic in its real yeah, life, right? Yeah, and yeah. they I pumped that it. shit with water and oil and they're like, yeah. do it. Lawson's fried chicken on the other hand? Nah, Damn. nah, nah. Seven, no, seven, seven, seven no. fried chicken seven fried at chicken. the top. Seven I think fried seven fried chicken. fried chicken's in the middle, man. There's, Lawson's do this like sweet and and uh, sour. Oh, no, it's, yeah, no, it's uh, salty and sweet, right. like teriyaki ch fried chicken. Mm. It's fucking good, dude. Yeah. It's fucking good. It hits different. It hits back. <laughs> it hits back. Do <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you bite into this thing, it's fighting you, bro, in a good way. It's like, damn, there's so much flavor in this thing. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> shit. holy shit. I just wanted a fried chicken, not a, not a fight. Okay, also when you first come to Japan, right? Yeah. You're like onigiri, bro. Jelly yeah. filled donuts immediately. Yeah. You know, Cause it's new, it's exciting. It tastes good. And then when I moved here, I was eating it and I'm like, this kind of tastes boring, <laughs> really boring. And then I, I, I thought, who would who would have a sandwich in Japan? I want a sandwich. I can get a better sandwich in the UK. Right. right. Yeah. And then you you know you start experimenting a little bit. And I had the egg and my go to <laughs> sandwich combo. I, I cry if this isn't available in Lawson's. They have like a god tier tuna mayo sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one is a uh, the egg one. The egg and ham. It's, too, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. I cry every time I yeah, get. Yeah. That that is definitely my favorite like sandwich combination. It's so good because you have the tuna and you're like, ooh, a little you know, a little salty, a little yeah. fishy. You have the the egg ma the mayo. One 
one, you're like, fuck, dude, this is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm actually the opposite. When I first moved here, I'm like, why do I fuck? Why do, would I want a fucking onigiri? And now it's just like a very nice casual snack where like you don't want a full meal. Yeah, you just onigiri want like is a, quite filling though. I find. Yeah, like, that's that's it. Like yeah. you, you have you have that as a snack, and it fills you up, and you don't need anything else. Yeah, the, exactly. Like exactly. For, for a while, I guess. Yeah. Like I always when I go to the combini in the morning, sometimes I can't yeah. be bothered to like make a breakfast. Yeah. So I go to the combini in the morning, and I always get my breakfast and then some kind of onigiri because yeah. I know the the breakfast is gonna fill me up. Mm. Yeah. But then I know a couple of hours later, I'm gonna be feeling a little bit peckish and the yeah. onigiri is just perfect to fill in that little spot I, that creates. My problem with onigiri is sometimes like, it's it's like a coin toss. Mm. Like you might get one where they're generous with the fillings and yeah. sometimes you bite into that shit and there's one shred of tuna in it. And you're like, where is the flavor, bro? I just ate into seaweed and rice. Like <laughs> there was one piece of tuna with a slab of mayo on it. Yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah. it sucks, man. I, I, if it was consistent, maybe I'd like but it. But you only eat the tuna. No, yeah. no, I like the salmon and the codro one. Oh yeah? Yeah, the codro one's fine, but codro is kind of intense, so. Have yeah. you tried like some of the other flavors, like the flavored rice flavors? I've had the, pl oh, you mean like the fried rice yeah, ones? The fried yeah, yeah, the fried yeah, rice ones are fine, but again, I'm always thinking like- They're uh, situational for me. To me. I would rather them warm, like- <laughs> Like, back to this shit again. I want it warm. Like you can warm it up, but just put, that, put not, that bitch in the no, microwave. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel I don't right. want to microwave rice. That sounds <laughs> just depressing, man. I don't know. I don't know. Would you rather cold rice or microwave rice? Cold. Well then stop fucking complaining. <laughs> but but like, I would rather it be like freshly. Yeah, you know, but that grilled. ain't gonna happen nah, at yeah, a fucking corner. Like did for you as like a white person. <laughs> Who grew up in as Wales. A really as, as, a, as, like, a as a white, white person. person. As a white person. No, no, no. Mm. The, the, no. The, the point I was trying to make is how did it feel going from like eating rice every now and again to eating rice for almost every meal? Because I've had I've had conversations with people who you know grew up grew up in America grew up in England yeah. they've moved to an Asian country and they're like man I really liked it at first and then I just got bored of eating rice for like every meal. Mm. But it, I grew up with this shit, it, so it, I'm used to it. Yeah. I mean, it wears you down a little bit, but I feel like you really do get used to it. I don't know, maybe maybe some people, it's like they like it at first, like you, like you said, they start to hate it. But mm. for me, it was yeah. like, I don't know, rice has just always been there. It's like bread, but in a different format for me. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it, if, if bread is the hard drive, then rice is the SD card. In my mind, you know what I mean? Like it's like they all do the same thing. Yeah. They just fill you up in their carbs, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I think most of the time here, it's not just plain rice. Sometimes it is like mm. when you go to Rio Can, yeah. and it's just like plain fucking rice in it, and it's so starchy and sticky. You're like fuck, dude, my, <laughs> I'm eating fucking play doh here, man. Like, <laughs> but. You know, when you go like my favorite place in the world, Matsuya, mm. you know, Here we go I, again. I must, I must look like- Here a, we go again. I must look like a freak when I do this, right? Yeah. So when they cook the the pork, mm -hmm. pork by the way, gone, not beef, beef yeah. is like shit. Yeah. Um, they, they cook the pork, right? There's like juices, right? And yeah. normally you just kind of like pick up the pork and put it in the rice, put some mayo on it and then eat it. Mm. Yeah. I fucking like in the restaurant, I'm like, hold up my plate and like <laughs> pour all like the, the fats and stuff yeah, on the yeah. rice. <laughs> I know, I can agree. Yeah, with that. I, I, that I tastes that. so fucking good, yeah. dude. Because yeah, yeah. it makes it so rich. But it's and just like the audacity, the fucking audacity to go into a beef ball place and order pork. <laughs> what do you, what do you, I this mean, guy. Okay, yeah, this, this guy. guy. Honestly, you go Matsu, man. I'm telling you, man. That that pork and ginger. Oh like, no, I've had it. The pork yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, we it's, were smashed one time, and I was like, but Joe, it's like yeah. vanilla beef. Why would I have a vanilla beef? Are you out of your mind? Don't start this again. <laughs> Vanilla beef, really? Oh <laughs> my God, man. Like I would definitely, if I walk into a Marzia, I'm ordering a beef ball. It's beef without attitude. Yeah. What, what can I say? That's, yeah. that's pork. Yeah. That's pork. Yeah. Dude, okay. Pork is like beta beef. Nah, nah, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> This is, I, I already I know this like, is gonna be like the biggest I, comment I, war in the I, comment I, section <laughs> out of like any shitty okay, opinion on anime. We, we have mainly Americans watching us and I feel that Americans will side with beef because like beef is way more prevalent. And they're right. No, yeah. no, they're not right, guys. <laughs> they're not right. You know what's an underrated meat? Lamb. What? Lamb is pretty fucking good. Lamb's, okay, here's the thing about lamb is that it has to be like really good quality lamb. Yeah. Because if That's it's not Wales, like baby. the, the, after, Wales, the aftertaste in lamb can be so overpowering yeah. that it just it just tastes like horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lamb so fucking sucks here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes leather, it's like eating leather, essentially. <laughs> yeah, we went to a restaurant once, man, and it was like a roulette wheel on this lamb. For some reason, oh, yeah. some of these lamb chops were like perfectly cooked. Yeah. You had another one, it's like trying to- It was like eating a, a tire, man. Yeah, it's fuck. It was like, yeah. 
<laughs> it's like, when do I just swallow yeah, it and give like, up? Right? When yeah. do I just admit? It's like I had a chiseled jawline yeah. by the end of the year because like, from all the fucking chewing I was doing. It's like either my jaw dislocates yeah. or, or like I'm done, yeah. bro. Or I'm choking on this fucking tire <laughs> piece of a lamb. Uh, yeah, there's just some meats like that. And especially coming from whales where mm. like, yeah. you know, they fuck sheep. That's the stereotype, right? That's yeah. what everyone does. I mean, lamb is fucking great. Yeah. You get great lamb. I guess like another question I had for you, which is like a conversation I've had with a lot of people who have never been to Go Asia. Ahead. Go ahead. Who had like never been to Asia or like lived in Asia mm -hmm. is this concept of cooking your own meal in a restaurant, like going to a Korean barbecue or going to a shabu shabu mm. and having to like cook your own meal and like mm -hmm. cook your own meats. Mm -hmm. mm. Like yeah, what was, like what was, what like was that. your, uh, what's your opinion of that? As a colonial white man, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> As an upper class Because I man. really like that. I really like the social- Well, the, the first time I went to Korean barbecue was with you and I was like, I'm just like, can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let the brown boy do it. Because <laughs> I, I really like the social aspect this, of one, being able to control like how, for example, how cooked your steak yeah, yeah. is yeah, and being yeah. able to do that yourself. Like, yeah, sure. We have, we have Gordon Ramsay, right? Yeah. Mm. He's a white man who can cook. That's an anomaly. Right. Yeah. White people can't cook, man. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to the, every other culture. Because there's because there's a chain of pubs in Australia yeah. where inside of the pub, there's literally just a butcher yeah. Yeah. of just rows and rows of steaks and meats yeah. and whatever. Yeah. And you pick out whatever steak you want, you pay for it, they give it to you. And then you have to take that Dude, over man, to the barbecue just and just no, make okay. it yourself. The reason why I don't like cooking it myself is one, uh, I want to pay the other person to do that right. Yeah. yeah. Like. I, I, I don't want to pay you so I can fuck up this piece of meat. Right. Yeah. I, I'll go and do that at home. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll, like I'll go and fuck. I don't want to embarrass myself in yeah, public. I'll, I'll go, I, Cause the worst part is, is when you like go to Korean barbecue and you take someone there. When yeah. you take someone to Korean barbecue or any kind of barbecue like that, you're the one who has to cook. Yeah. yeah. Cause you took them there. Yeah. It's yeah. on you. And they just sit back and they're like, go ahead, go ahead. Mm. And then I'm like, fuck dude, when, how do I know this is cooked? <laughs> And the worst part is they're like, let's get chicken. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> fuck. When is chicken cooked? I don't know. Cause I, I'm personally, I will just let the chicken get black. And I'm like, all right, it's, it's safe to, to eat. Go. It's safe to it's eat. Good chicken to kids. But that's <laughs> just, it's just like, you're okay with going Listen. to a barbecue and having someone cook for you. Yeah. So why, why can't you put that in like a restaurant experience, right? What's the difference? Yeah. Western's I mean, cause it's like, we're all bringing our own meats, you know? We're all uh, bringing our own- You can just own. order like good quality meat, I guess. But, why would I do that at a restaurant when I can just do that at home? I get the exact same experience, right? Because why'd you go to a barbecue? Why do people do barbecues? It's cause it's a social experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's the exact sometimes. same thing with that's, a Korean That's exactly barbecue. the same thing with like yeah, well, going to a shabu shabu or going to like a Korean Yeah, but if, if I could, okay. If you gave me the choice, you're like Connor, you can have Korean barbecue where you cook it or Korean barbecue where the, the guy who works here and, and often comes on like, cause, they, they see you fucking burning the meat anyway. And they, they come in like, no, 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 let me, and they start like, they're like, they come and fix it for you. So just just save the embarrassment and just do it for me right now. But away. it's just like an activity, right? Because I, I feel like- it's Just go do an activity. No, Why but, are you gonna make your but, fucking meal into an adventure, bro? Because because like, okay, here's the thing, especially like when, when I remember going to America mm. where the only reason you like, especially hang out with Sydney's family, like deep in the Midwest, like they only go to a restaurant to eat. Yeah. And that's that's just I it. think that's how it should be. <laughs> but I I, I the only like exception to me is hot pot, because you can't fuck hot pot up. <laughs> you can't fuck that. You just throw everything in. Just, just, just throw it all in. I don't know, but man. Like, I've seen people fuck up a hot really? pot. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. You, you can fuck up a hot okay, pot. Okay. But like to me, like a restaurant can be like an entire experience yeah, yeah, where yeah, you like catch up with yeah, friends yeah. and everything. Yeah, but yeah, like true, true. I, I feel like in the West, you like you don't go to a restaurant for any anything else but the purpose of just having a meal and I, eating. I, I disagree. I think it's it's changing a little bit now. At least it was yeah. in the UK before I left. Like mm. it was very much becoming like a an experience kind of thing over a, you know, whatever the restaurant There's was. There's been so. like some of the quietest restaurants I've ever been to are, have been in America. Yeah. Where no one is talking and they're just silently eating. I'm like, you could I mean, you could I, do this at I, home. I don't like to make my meal that I've just, I look forward to all day into a stressful thing. Like if every time I took a shit, I had to put in like the input code and it's flashing on the bidet, dude, that's gonna, I don't wanna, yeah, it's a fun activity at first, but that's gonna get old real fucking fast. Like if you're adding steps- I don't know if that's the same thing. I mean, I just feel like you're adding steps to something that just doesn't require steps, right? But it does, that's where the enjoyment comes in. Yeah. 
Why? It's, 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 like, a group, it's like a group activity, yeah. right? Okay, shout out to the people who get anxiety with cooking. Like, I'm sure you can relate. You're like, why would I want to fuck this up okay, when I can just pay okay. someone in, to do in, it? In my defense, like I can't cook to save my life. Like yeah. I, I, I fuck up a right. toast, right? right? Like right. that's the kind of like, <laughs> that's the kind of like fucking and, and horrible you, And you will cook your own food in those restaurants. And yet I love going to Yakiniku and being the one to be like, I'll cook the meat. Yeah. No. Because it's the one and only time I'm in front of food where I have control. It's like, it's like a power move. It's it like, is a power move. Let, let me fucking have yeah. this. Like, like, let, let, let me, cook let me show you how it's done. Yeah. I mean, it's like, if, if you get impressed by someone putting meat on a grill, I mean, fair play to you, man. I'm, I'm not really buying that. Like I'm, I'm like, go and walk in the kitchen. What are you doing here? <laughs> Get out of that's, my seat. That's what I love about like yakiniku yeah. and like Korean Korean uh, Korean barbecues is that mm. it's literally you just have a fucking meal of just grilled meat. Yeah, that's like having the burger without the burger. Here's, <laughs> here's my main problem. Cut out the fucking meal, I, man, and I, just give me the good shit, man. I, I love yakiniku. Don't get me wrong, man. Yeah. I love yakiniku. There is a fundamental problem with yakiniku. <laughs> Go on. I hate the wait, the loading times for the meat, man. Because. You can't skip the loading time. You can't skip the loading, right? When I, okay, when, okay, oh at a good restaurant, right? What would a good restaurant do? They they prepare all the food so it comes out at the same time. Yeah. That's the sound of a good restaurant, right? Yeah. Because everyone can start eating immediately, mm. right? With the Yakiniku place, right? Especially if you go with fucking Maylene, right? <laughs> I, I want to chuck all the meat on straight away yeah, so yeah. that we can start eating everything. Yeah, and like yeah. we have a constant stream of meat coming in, right? Maylene, when I went with her, she wanted to put one tiny fucking piece of beef on it and wait five minutes. Well, that's Maylene's problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what I, what I, that's what why I, you don't go to a restaurant with Maylene. What I'm saying no, no, because, is, when like, I like to eat, I want to keep eating. Yeah, that, that's why you got to fucking optimize it. So you have, you have, <laughs> you, got you, the can, strats you can fucking optimize this because you, ha you have like the meats on it. And then as the meat's getting done, you put more meats yeah. on it and you put this on the Speed side. Run yucky and, then, then. And, and, and then as you're eating the meat, then the other and, meat and, and is cooking. There's always, and you're, no. there's never, there's never like a down period. No, 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 that's not true. That, that doesn't happen. A real, in a realistic world, can't, that isn't how it that is how it happens. That is how it happens. No, no, because no, you've you've just not things, you've just not optimized no. your career. Maybe you've done like Yakiniku because you've just been to shit Yakiniku. Also, <laughs> also, right? Here's another awkward scenario. I okay. hate this, right? Okay. Four of you go to Yakiniku restaurant, right? Yeah. Right. The A5 beef comes out. Mm. Yeah. It's in six pieces. What do you do, Gon? Who get who gets how who who decides who gets how many A5? This is the A5 beef, Gon. Come on. This is like eight thousand yen for these six slabs. Right. Who gets what, Gon? Because personally. I'm not gonna lie. I want two. Okay. Well, that 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 well, just, how that I, just how goes I, how down. How do I argue? I want that just two. goes down to the Asian I, experience of sharing your meals and yeah. sharing your like dishes. How the right? fuck do we turn six into into eight, gone? Because someone Cut someone one of them in half. No, that's depressing. <laughs> that's depressing, bro. I, you can't do that, man. It's already I mean, it's already pre -cut. Asian Asian families can do it no problem. It's let me like, let me, like let, me, tell, to, let me I need to do Monopoly mind games at my fucking family let, let, dinner let me tell you to make you, sure I'm getting the most. Let me tell you how to solve this. Go go because this happens every time. Yeah, you have the four pieces. You have the two pieces is left. And then Connor's like, so nobody gonna eat these? <laughs> okay, I'll just take it. In yeah. my mind, right? That, that is the experience hanging out with Connor. In my mind, right? <laughs> he is that guy who's just like- Listen, you know what's more stressful than when you're hungry uh, and there's one piece left and nobody seems to give a fuck that there's one piece left yeah. on the table. It's like, are we gonna eat this or not? Because if no one's gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Then just do it. No, because I also, <laughs> You know, maybe, okay, with you guys, I don't give a fuck, right? Yeah. I'll do it. But yeah. maybe when we first get to know each other, I didn't want you guys to go home and be like, why is Con always fucking taking all our food, man? <laughs> He's always going for it straight away. He's going for the kill, right? This is a real social problem. What? Cause if I'm, if I'm getting dinner, right? Mm. Every single time I have my piece, I'll chat a little bit. And I look to go and get my next piece. And the fucking fat ass over there is taking it every time. I want to know that there's at least a cool down period between him eating one piece and like there's at least a two minute cool down to wait, right? And it's, it's so stressful. There's so many social issues with meat being cooked on its own. Just let us all order I our own like shit. I feel like you're like way too overcomplicating listen, this man. Listen, like, because you don't realize it, Joey. You're creating problems out of no, nothing. No, 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 no. Cause Joey, your social skills are, are like, perfectly normal human beings, right? right. You, you just glide through it. You don't worry about it. Yeah. Joey just dances through it, man. Yeah. For me, it's like a science, bro. <laughs> it's a science to social situations, right? <laughs> okay. You gotta make sure you don't do anything for a new person yeah. that could make you seem weird, right? right. So that includes not eating too much. If you go home, they think you're a fat ass. Oh, get a load of this guy, right? right. Eating all our meat, right? right? That we all split the bill on. Yeah, he had the most. Connor should have paid. Yeah, the but most. in my in my mind, it's like if you're not gonna eat it, we like no, no, you guys true. know we're splitting this. No, meal. no, no, yeah, yeah. So if you're not gonna eat it, I'm gonna just fucking take but, it. But sometimes. 
that hasn't been made clear, right? right? Who's who's splitting? Are we splitting this? Are we not? Like, we don't know. These are the awkward social situations that you encounter often, Joe. Right, but I'm just like, well, you know, th this is the op this opportunity of taking this last piece of meat is here right now. I don't give a fuck about like, oh, who, who, what percentage <laughs> I, are we going to split this based on am, how many pieces of meat? I'm we jealous ate. of you, Jerry, that you can throw caution to the wind like that and yeah. just take the meat. If people think I'm a fat ass, well, then that's their problem. I have the full stomach, not you. I mean. <laughs> Damn you miss the opportunity, I take that opportunity. I am an opportunist in that sense. You say that like you're the one who always takes the last piece when it's me. Yeah, it is you. <laughs> it's me, and but in I- in my head, I'm just like, look at this fucking okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> What I do is I wait. You gotta wait, right? Until yeah. everyone, you're pretty confident that everyone has just decided they don't want this anymore. Right, right. And then you go in for the kill. You yeah. take the- See, I've take... been in way too many situations where it, it's such a Japanese thing, especially when you go to like a business dinner in Japan, there's always, it's like a rule. It's like a social rule to leave one piece of whatever Why? the fuck it Why? is. Why? That's so annoying. Because uh, because it's this whole idea of like- Japanese coach- You're force. making a stressful oh, you situation. Go. No, you go. Yeah. No, you go. It's like, please, no, you please. Go. It's, it's, it's the crowd before me. That, yeah. it, it's the whole collective mentality, right? Yeah. And so I've been in so many of those situations where in the end, no one takes the piece And they at just all. take the food back? And then they just take the food back. Oh no, dude, T take me back to the kitchen. Give me all the one yeah. piece left there. <laughs> so so that's why them, now, I, because I've been in so many situations where I'm like, why is he taking that away? There's still one piece left on it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just like, let me use my Gaijin card Bro, for a think, second here. and just like, give me that piece. Think about yeah. all the wasted food that happened because of socially awkward situations. Yeah. Wasn't it better if we all just like figured out a system? It's just, it's just a piece of meat, bro. It's not just a piece of meat, Dom. <laughs> That's A5 beef you're talking about. She made about. something to me. <laughs> I mean, if it's A5 beef, fair well, enough. Look, look but if it's guy. like- This guy doesn't eat hot If it's dogs, like yeah. another like piece of like pork or something, no, no, no. I'm like fucking- <laughs> This guy is so fucking. This guy gets fighting words. This, this guy gets two million subs. He changes, man. No more hot dogs. Humble, okay, no happened? more spam for can, can I can I talk about one thing that I'm not a fan of in uh, Japanese cooking culture, which yeah. is not really like widespread. But okay, so we're in a ryokan. Okay, okay, and we have this mini grill, and we have this mini <laughs> grill. Oh my god! Next exactly to us, right? Do. Okay. And they put like a shellfish on uh, the grill. Abalone. Abalone. Yeah. Uh, they put a shellfish on, on this grill, expensive right? Expensive fish. And expensive we're, we're fish. all sitting next to each other. And then the fish, the shellfish starts dancing and turning. And I'm just like, hmm, okay. Are shellfish meant to do that when they're dead? <laughs> and and then it, it, it looks like it's like trying to crawl off this grill. Yeah. And then I, it goes from like, I, I slowly start to realize that shit's alive. Yeah, <laughs> that I'm, I, I'm watching something being burned alive in front of my eyes, and you expect me to eat this shit? Yeah, oh, that because shit you know amazing. that shit's fresh. That shit was amazing. It was so yeah. Isn't that like fifty dollars a yeah. piece? Yeah. You like, know why it was amazing? Because it was alive two minutes ago. <laughs> no, dude, it was. It was okay. No, no, no. There's this. Fre looked, it, there's I, fresh food, and then there's witnessing a fucking murder. <laughs> Before I'm about to eat, it's a you fucking know? abalone. Who cares? It's, it's so not like it's not like it was, like you knew this abalone. It's like it's not like watching a friend. Die. <laughs> this man's a, like a meat eater, and now he's fucking complaining that yeah, a, right? shell, a shellfish no, no, dies no, 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 no. in front of him. I'm like 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 I'm fine. Okay, would you I'm, would you would you kill every animal that you eat? Would you kill a cow? Yeah, but like, but <laughs> no, like that's a fucking lie. You're, you're sitting here being like, oh no, this shellfish this died. Poor no, 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 you're no, telling, no, no, you're no. telling me that you would kill a cow and eat it? No, no, you would because, kill a because, cow. Because they're like, I, I, like I, I need to be mentally prepared. I, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Bro, for you, a fucking uh, shellfish. You, you eat all of this meat like it's nothing, bro. You never think about it, bro. You can't just sit here and then pick and choose when you see a little thing squirming in front of you being like, oh, well, I guess, uh, you know, now, now I have a problem with this. You know? No, because like, okay. Someone I'm, should do something like, about like this. I, I, I know animal needs to be killed, you know, yeah. Yeah. For, in order for me to eat and everything. Like if, if I need to kill an animal to eat it, mm. I'll fucking do it. But like, I need to be in like the mental headspace. But when I'm sitting down at like a restaurant or okay. something All like right, that. Fuck it, we're getting a chicken, bro. I want, I want, I want, I want, to, I want to see him kill it. No, right. because it's, it's, not, it's not the only time it's happened. Cause like, um, like a few weeks ago, I went to this teppanyaki place, which yeah. a teppanyaki is like a, like a flat grill and a chef like cooks the food. Oh you? yeah, I like that. I like yeah, that. I fucking amazing. And great that someone else cooks it for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I remember I was uh, I was sitting there with Sydney and on the opposite side, the other the other people had just ordered lobsters. 
Yeah. yeah. And so what happens is that they get they give they get the freshest lobster. They have like a tank. Hell yeah. They have Hell the yeah. tank with this with this like just lobsters in it, and they they pick a lobster, and the chef like puts the lobster in front of them, and it's like fucking trying to crawl around, and like <laughs> this is a fresh fucking lobster. Now I've seen lobsters being prepared by fucking Gordon Ramsay and shit. Yeah. He like he like puts a knife in like the spinal cord and like kills it instantly. Mm. But not at this fucking restaurant. This fucking restaurant presents the lobster. It's crawling around, and the customers like. Yes, this is a fresh lobster. This is amazing. <laughs> and he, and the chef like goes like, okay, brilliant. Puts the lobster on the grill and it's and you just see it being fucking cooked and it's like trying to fucking crawl away. To be fair, I, I, I'd rather see that than when you, when you go in those <laughs> shitty restaurants with those obviously dead lobsters in the tank yeah. that are like barely fucking alive because yeah. they've been suffocated in their own <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like I would rather the lobster probably have quite a painful death, but like it's over and pretty, pretty fast, you know? It yeah. probably tastes better too. And it's not poisoning its friends. Yeah, because you know? exactly. when a lobster dies in that tank, bro, all those lobsters. But I, 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 don't I don't know. See I, the just, lobster, I see the lobster squirming like really rapidly. I'm like, okay, this is a healthy like yeah. young lobster, right? Like, <laughs> what, this what, is what, gonna are gonna what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's a healthy boy. Yeah, that's a healthy boy. What are you gonna do? Fucking take it out out, out back and put a bullet in his head? God, what do you want? <laughs> yes. Yes, please. No. Kill it first. No. Kill it. Who cares? Kill it before you fucking burn it to death and give it like a few minutes of agony. I don't know. This, I don't this, know. This is how vegans are born. This, this, <laughs> this, 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 this is literally this, how vegans are born. This guy is the same guy who would sit there and be like, it doesn't taste fresh enough. Let me murder the cow myself. <laughs> Let me grab the meat <laughs> from inside its loins. I don't know. I just, I just like if if I if I know that something if if I know that I'm just gonna witness a murder before a meal, I'm, I'm like, okay, let, let me. I, let I'm me pretty sure they can't feel this. pain though, or anything. Huh? I'm pretty sure they can't feel pain. I don't know if they can feel pain or not. That that's beside the point that I'm trying to make. I, here. I don't know if they feel pain, but it's I'll, I'll still always remember also, more more than the flavor of that abalone we had at that yokan yeah, is yeah, his yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> Like it was, it was incredible. It was like, no, it was like you witnessed a box of kittens die. Like it's just a fucking abalone. Like, no, because I just, I have never seen any fucking living being just squirm right in front of my face as I'm about to eat it, I guess. You were That's just like, like that was, it was just the, it was like, you can see the realization of my face when I'm just like, Haha, we're grilling me. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's moving. Why, why is it moving? I remember asking you guys, why is this thing moving? Is, is this alive? Yeah. And then you're like, you, like, yeah, it's alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh, it's alive. I'm just watching something being killed. It didn't, it didn't look killed. very appetizing, I will say. Yeah. Isn't it referred to as like a pussy? In the, Cause it looks like- It does look like a bit of a vagina. It yeah. does, yeah. Cause they, 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 just does they have like a nickname a for it where like it's in Japan, where like a manko or something. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah, I think so. I don't know Some about Japanese that. told me that like, yeah, it's famous for looking like- Yeah, it, it's yeah. straight up looks so like- So it doesn't vagina. look appetizing enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, then, and then it dies in front yeah. of you. Imagine a squirming vagina on a, <laughs> on a grill. I want to get monetized, Joey, <laughs> god damn it. You're the one that brought up the fucking what? vagina. But, I didn't even know that but shit. But two of those words together in combination sound disgusting. What, squirming vagina? Oh, Joey, stop. <laughs> Smudan, can you fucking censor that shit, please? <laughs> I, do but you have yeah. any other food topics? Anything else? I'm trying to think of, there's gotta be something else before we end. There's this. a lot of Japanese food out there that I feel just gets completely swept under the rug. Because again, the whole Western perception is ramen and sushi. That's it. That's, that's okay. all Japan has to offer. Okay. I mean, I, I think- Okonomiyaki is okay. Okonomiyaki no, is like- You take that back, motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking take that shit back. Okonomiyaki is like a good like pasta in elsewhere. Like it's like a carb filling and it's very yeah. like, you, you know, you can't really get mad at pasta most of the time. That's Okonomiyaki. You're saying yeah. a lot of shit for someone in slap distance. <laughs> <laughs> at least Gant is like on the other side of the table, but I can just okay. fucking- like, Okonomiyaki. Like Okonomiyaki, which is like, how do, how do I explain Okonomiyaki? It's a savory pancake. It's, 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 that, that's exactly my point. Yeah. It's just a savory pancake. It's just kind of and a, it, yeah, it yeah. looks better than it tastes. It, it, Cause you see Okonomiyaki and it's like the fucking Shokugeki food porn. You could, you could watch this thing and jack off to it basically. But when you actually eat it, it's just like, Wow, this is this is this is this should be up on a this should be up on a fucking painting. Uh, I'm, you know, a, I'm a finna quit this podcast. <laughs> like, just because you, I've never heard anyone. Every time I've taken a, 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 a someone from overseas to yeah. an okonomiyaki place, mm. they've had the food wars experience. It's just street food, though. Like it is a street food, it, but it's probably the best street food you can have. Yeah, like I will, I will something... happily take an okonomiyaki over like a yakisoba. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, maybe. No, I, I take a yakisoba. As much as I love yakisoba as well, don't get me wrong. Like all street Fried food noodles. is great. Okay, but like, okay. So then- I, it's, I, all, I, it's all kind of meh tier for me. 
It's like well, it's yeah, good. because it's 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 B grade food, right? It's street yeah, food, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to be like, oh my god, this is the best meal I've ever had. It's just there to fill your stomach, right? So, give, but if, like, in no world, if a matsuya is nearby, am yeah. I not going to choose mat? Like, matsuya is the definition of B grade food. What are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. It, it's it's the king of the B-grade. only difference between matsuya <laughs> and street food is that matsuya has a logo. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the that's, only, that's the only it's, difference. It's comfortable, man. It's comfortable. Yeah, sure. I saw a cockroach run across the floor one. Time. Yeah, right. I don't give a fuck. The food tastes amazing. Okay, so then if Matsuya started making like yakisoba and no, okonomiyaki, no, would you eat it? No. What the, what I the get, fuck's the difference? I get the same because, th- dude, the beef bowls are like, if we're talking B grade food in Japan, yeah. beef bowls and pork bowls are the king. Oh, yeah, of course. But they're not good. But you're not going to get a I beef rest bowl. My case, but you're not going to get yeah. a beef bowl and a pork bowl at a fucking summer festival. You're gonna get an okonomiyaki yeah, but or yakisoba or Yeah, when I get to the summer festival, I'm like, yo, this is sick. Uh, Google Maps, where's the nearest Matsuya? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never want to go to a summer festival with you. Okay. Uh, and we're uh, just uh, going to end up in a fucking Matsuya. <laughs> no, cause like, <laughs> I remember when we went, I think Aki got like all the fucking weird seafood. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's real yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> As the certified Japanese person. <laughs> that's why I am now. I'm the certified Japanese person of trash taste. That's all I am. Yeah, why, so, is anyone taking, why is anyone taking my opinion on food? I'm white. I'm what like, is, what, what, is, what are the Japanese dishes that people should know outside of just ramen and sushi. And now we've mentioned suke, man. Yeah, I, I feel that again, it's it's a lot of like, I mean, we've ex- we've, we've already touched upon a lot of them, right? Like mm-hmm. skimen Literally is one, skiyaki is definitely another one. Uh, yakitori. Yakitori, like just a lot of, uh, oh shit, a lot of uh, street food, like just B grade street food. Like, yeah. you know, as much as you guys say that it's me, like I reckon not enough people oh, no. try okonomiyaki. I will thing. destroy an okonomiyaki. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but I, I'm, I'm not going to feel happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the thing, right? I, th- I feel like moving to Japan has just completely shifted my perception of what good food is. Yeah. Because you give me the shit when I come from England, everything's like S tier. Everything in Japan yeah. is like S tier compared <laughs> to I, like I, what you can get in England. Yeah. And then you live here, you're like, man, there's different tiers of S tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's like a single S tier, there's a triple S tier. Yeah. I saw an article that was shared around on Twitter. It was basically like, why does Japan and Switzerland have such a high like baseline for what should be like standard? Right. Yeah. In terms of like just everything in life. Right, right. Especially food, like just public transport, like daily living, like mm. just everything in life has such a high minimum requirement in Japan mm. that in the UK it's like I could pay like a hundred pounds and get a fucking garbage meal. Yeah, right, like right, right. In Japan, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, if you pay more than normal here, you will just get something good. You'll I've get n- an experience. I've yeah. never gone to a restaurant here where I've paid more than like the baseline and been disappointed. Yeah, yeah, I, and even then. Like I said, like like the Mansias, right? And and the chains and the really average stuff. It's so good that like anywhere you go in Japan, if you're not from here, you'll probably be really satisfied with it. Yeah, yeah. And fuck, it must be awful being Japanese and traveling overseas and being like, wait, this restaurant was shit. Yeah. I just paid a hundred pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And it was garbage. How is this legal? Yeah. <laughs> they, they know it's shit, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, of course they do. Yeah. They don't, they don't give a shit though. No. They don't give a shit. They don't care. Yeah, I don't know. It's just really interesting. Like, and and yeah, that is the baseline. I think is why, when anyone asks you, like, what is your favorite thing about Japan? I'm, I'm sure we can all agree that it's probably top three of like food. The food, yeah, yeah. food is amazing. I mean, I knew I was gonna like the like, anime, yeah, yeah, or whatever. yeah, of course, yeah. I, and yeah, <clears throat> is hamburger on its own a devastation to hamburgers worldwide? Yeah, it is. But is it still gonna be better than any other country that does it? Honestly, yeah, yeah it is. It will be, it's going to yeah. be better. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll admit that much. That's the thing is that I think a lot of people who haven't come to Japan or know nothing about the Japanese food culture here yeah. think that when people say the food is just better in Japan, yeah, people, I think people Everything. are just quick to be like, oh, they think Japanese food is better in Japan. Of course no, 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 it is. No, no, no. It's, every it's, food is better look, in Japan. Look, 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 let me just tell you like this. It just don't miss, okay? <laughs> no matter where you go you in Japan, <laughs> no matter where and, you go in Japan, you don't miss. And, no. uh, and even like foreign foods, like Italian food is such a unique flavor here, but in a really good way. I, the way I yeah. see it is Italian food in Japan is the way that New York pizza is to pizza. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, a t- it's a totally different take on it. That's still it really still good. Yeah, yeah. It still really works. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's the same way with a lot of the food that they have here. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people ask, oh, you know, can you get like authentic? It might not be authentic, but 
Who the fuck gives a shit if it's, if it's authentic? If it yeah. tastes good and yeah. it's amazing, who cares? I mean, dude? we recently found like an Indian uh, like right, curry right, restaurant. Yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. Shit, that's very authentic. Yeah, but it's yeah. authentic, but and it was also still yeah, really yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. good, right? It's amazing, like, like destroyed I mean, my fucking stomach. Like the oh yeah, like a that's proper how it Indian should, yeah, 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 exactly. Like the naan was perfect naan. Yeah, yeah. amazing. If, if I'm one. waking up the next day and and I'm not destroying my fucking toilet, that's not a proper Indian. It's not a good curry. It's not a proper Indian. I want to be like doubting it every single every single moment until it's in my. Mouth. Yeah. And I'm like, I made the right decision. <laughs> yeah, if I wake up in the morning and I don't know if it's a fart or a shot, that's how you know it's a good curry. Right? And that's been that episode yeah. of show. <laughs> hey, let's uh, say thank you to all the patrons who help uh, make this show come to life. Look I will say, one. if you ever do come to Japan, please get a hamburger just so yeah, you can finish same. this debate. Honestly, about- just, just give anything oh, a go. Maylene pointed something out to us before we end. Uh, unagi. Unagi is Eel. God tier. It's like Oh this. my god. Oh my god. Something we, we all mention. agree on. Yeah. Okay. Do we all agree on? Yes, eat the eat the unagi. Eat unagi. The unagi. So unagi, unagi is, you explain. Unagi is it's like a boiled uh, eel and then it's grilled and in, in this like beautiful sauce. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe it. And they just they just serve it on the rice. And it don't yeah. get me wrong, it's very expensive. It is But like, it is worth the price. It's it's Absolutely. a summer food and it is you eat it and you feel clean, you feel happy, but you're getting that fillingness that you get from other stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. so good. It's, it, it's, it's so weird because eating unagi is like in the middle of eating fish and meat. Yeah. It's I, can't ex- I can't explain it. Yeah. Like it it feels like a fish, but it is feeling like and a it, meat. It sits like a meat. And, yeah, and, and it sits eel, like a meat. Eel sounds like something that like, I think a lot of Westerners, I mean, I know if you told me eel, I'd be yeah. like, oh, I don't want to eat eel. Yeah. yeah. But it, it it falls apart. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It's yeah. so good. And yeah, okay, it's expensive. Like I think when we went to one, we went to a really fancy one fucking, where you paid like sixty bucks. For I fucking one. paid sixty eight bucks for me. I know that's too much. I I know that's a lot. But like my brain just turned off. I didn't look at the price. I I just I wanted the large one. Yeah. Give me the large one. It was like two and a half eels. Yeah. Of this, and I was like, yeah. Oh, it was, it was really oh. fucking good. It was really in this, fucking in this good. Rest, yeah. It's so fucking good. Yeah. And like, if you come here during the summer, I highly recommend it. I think it is by far the best summer food in Japan. Easily. I don't yeah. think there's anything close to it. Winter food, a lot of heavyweight contenders, bro. But in yeah. the summer, I think Unagi is the king. Yeah. yeah. So in summation, if you ever come to Japan, apart from the usual uh, ramen and sushi that you're gonna try anyway, regardless of what we said. You can still get it in get, the winter, it's good. Get Unagi, you can never go wrong with that. Tsukemen. Yeah. I, we need more people Sashimi. in the cult of Tsukemen. I need, I need to build this cult. The cult of Tsukemen. Sashimi, get Sashimi. This is the only cult that you don't. think me later for. For me, don't get curry. No matter where no, no, you no, get, get curry. curry. Get curry. Yeah, you can get curry. Try it, try it. Just try it out. And then, like, if, you have, if you've never tried curry before, try it. Japanese curry. If, yeah. Japanese curry. But if you have tried curry before, it's to me, it's gonna taste exactly uh, the same as it is everywhere yeah. else. Soba, try soba, you know, yeah. some healthy yeah. noodles. Try soba. Uh, udon, just to confirm you don't like it. <laughs> uh, Bottom line, there's way more to Japanese food than ramen and sushi. There's yeah. so much more. And yeah. I, I guarantee everything you'll try here is either gonna be some kind of just a positive experience or just something life changing. Yeah, be- yes. before we end it, I wanna say that like when you eat food here, like you almost wanna cry because you just feel like someone cares. Like you- <laughs> You feel like someone really cared Bro, about I, I, I almost did cry when I yeah, fucking- Yeah, <laughs> man. We've like, already talked about like, that. All the food, you're like, fuck, man. Someone really fucking cared about yeah. the quality here. And if that doesn't make you tear up every single yeah. time you have a bite of food, it does. I don't know what will. I man. never thought I'd fucking almost cry over fucking noodles, but like, here I was. Yeah, and it's the same thing like fruit, right? Like mm. they have that saying of like, you know, the reason why it's so expensive is because so much love is put into yeah, it. And yeah. You do really feel like, I know it's cheesy as fuck and I think it's dumb as fuck when they say it, but I, I, you, when you eat that food, you do feel like every single step of the process, yeah. everyone yeah. cares. For some reason, it's just a marketing cares. ploy everywhere else, but in Japan, you actually yeah. kind of genuinely yeah, yeah. feel like, okay, yeah, it might you be. Fe- you feel the love. Yeah, yeah you in, feel in like the it's pride. There's yeah. so much pride in every single piece of food that you eat yeah. and you can just taste it and yeah. just, Honestly, when you come here, go on Google Maps. If it's over four stars, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah. Just go everywhere, trust me. Cause they are fucking strict. Yeah. Cause when you ratings. compliment the chefs, they re- they, they're like, <laughs> they actually like this appreciate is, that. This you is know? the only place on earth where I've actually wanted to be like, do the meme where it's like, can you call the chef over? Yeah, no, no, yeah, I, got, exactly. I, got, I, got, I need gotta, to shake his hand. I gotta yeah. shake this man's <laughs> hand, man. Yeah. This man. This man's done a masterpiece. Yeah. yeah. Like All if right. I ever get the opportunity, I like thank the chef. Yeah. Like, Sumasen, Sumasen, Chef, 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 Chef,
<laughs> yeah. But so uh, yeah, I think that's everything we wanted to talk about. I can't believe the most heated podcast we've ever had. Was about on, fucking meat. Was about meat. <laughs> Remember how this food. conversation started with me being <laughs> this, pescatarian? <laughs> this, this like made the school days debate like just, like a baby, like baby mode, man. I just feel like it should never have been a debate. It's just not even a point. Like it's hey, so you fucking can, You know what? You can start the debate over in the comments. We're yeah. gonna love looking through those. <laughs> <laughs> or you yeah. can do it on our Twitter or subreddit, which is as always down in the description below. So meme yeah. the fuck out of our heated meat argument. <laughs> but yeah. Will you beat our meat argument? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that was awful. Right, I feel okay. bad Thank for Thank you laughing. for all the patrons. You are amazing. This yeah, guy yeah. is my favorite. Thank you for 500K and all the fucking milestones we hit. And this has been Trash Taste, and we'll see you guys later. Let's go smash it, Tsukuman. Yeah. yeah we're actually, I'm, we're I'm, re I'm ready Tsukuman. to fucking cry. Let's again, go. Man. All right.